You give us three minutes, and we give you the world. Good evening. I'm Casey Wong. A military submarine that went missing over three years ago has suddenly reappeared in the Baltic Sea. Confused seamen mistakenly opened fire on the last Lapland reservation, killing 12. Thankfully, our homesick sailors are back on U.S. soil. Welcome back, boys. In local news, a new crime wave that is sweeping Detroit has already claimed the lives of 21 police officers. Here's a statement from the head of OCP, Omni Consumer Products, that's funding and running the Detroit Police Department. Old Detroit has a cancer, and that cancer is crime. It must be cut out, and OCP holds the scalpel. According to our sources, the attacks were aimed at catching the attention of a man whose identity remains unknown. This dangerous new guy in town seems to have his eye on doing business in old Detroit. Your filthy hands off me. Shut I'm sorry. Uh, there seems to be a... a, a disturbance? I'm a big fan. Now move! Don't adjust your television sets. Your regularly scheduled program will be back shortly. Now, this message goes out to the new guy in town. It seems that you're looking to spend some money in this great city of ours. I'm here to tell you that the Torchheads are open for business. You may have heard of us as the number one supplier of nuke in old Detroit. The most potent, addictive drug available in front of every convenience store, school, or library near you. But that's not all we're capable of. Let's get you up here. We'll uh, get Officer... Officer Howard to illustrate the point. You see, Officer Howard made a drug bust that cost us a lot of money. We want to reward this dutiful officer with a performance bonus. A lifetime supply of nuke. Oh, man, you're gonna have the time of your life. There you go. Enjoy. New guy, us torchheads are more than capable of doing whatever you need done in our city. So what is it, huh? Arson, smuggling, drug dealing, good old-fashioned murder. We do it all. You've got the money. We've got the power. So let's talk. Good to see you, Murphy. Lieutenant's at the main entrance to the TV station. The ground's shaking. Judgment Day is here! Hey, Anthem, we're here for the show. They, they, they came out of the trucks and they, they just started shooting at anything that moved. I can see you, ladies. If it keeps on like this, we're gonna run short of blood. I'm gonna give you 10 milligrams of diazepam to make you comfortable. We can't wait any longer. Those trigger happy maniacs have a ton of hostages. But, sir. Roger that. Over and out. What is the situation? Goddamn OCP tells us to stand down till SWAT arrives. That's our situation. Looks like I'm on the way out. Not so fast, buddy. Who do you think is gonna clean up this place? I'm not letting you off that easily. 
You sound just like my wife. If that's the case, let's get you patched up. We wouldn't want to get on her bad side. Press here. Medic! There you are, partner. Lewis? The hell is going on up there? Sorry, dude! The police want us to release the hostages! So no hard feelings! Hey! You, you can't go in yet! We need to wait for the reinforcements! Reinforcements have arrived. I knew you'd say something like that. We need to find another way. It is too dangerous to cross. For me. But you can take the heat. Go. I'll figure something out. Besides, you could do with a head start. Go on. Scum. about the weight limit? Lewis, you're here. We need to get these elevators back online. The service box is in the basement. Let me. I doubt you had time between all the heroics, but I got a key card from the janitor. It's good to do some real street work from time to time, you know. After you. They sabotage the elevators in Staircase 2. They obviously don't want to be disturbed. That graffiti is fresh. We cannot let him... I will keep them coming.
did not expect such a big crowd. Over here, Murphy. It's that service box, isn't it? Hey, why don't you check it out? I am detecting a short circuit. We need to isolate the cables. I think I've got something just for that. Thanks, but I'd say it was a team effort. They're holding everyone in the studio. It's on the 30th floor. decided to join our glamorous show. I'm afraid you're too late for my autograph. Chopper's ready. I've got to go, but the party goes on. Guys, make sure you provide all our guests with a decent amount of amusement, so don't skimp on the nuke. See ya. What a freaking psycho. We need to be quick before they kill anyone else. I know that look, Murphy. You saw something, didn't you? We are here to enforce the law, Lewis. Let us stay focused. Right. Just keep in mind that I'm here if you need me, partner. Slime bags detected. Just look at that, boys! The police dog and its bitch! Not sure which one is which! <laughs> You're gonna take that back!
thank God you've come. This lady really needs to see a doctor. Murphy, these people need help. Why don't you go ahead? I'll stay with them. Right. This is Lewis. We have rescued three hostages, one with a gunshot wound to the abdomen, requesting urgent medical assistance. Over. from the cupboard. Sure thing, Mom. What do we have? Alex? What do you think about the color of this dress? I'm not sure if I like the pattern. Oh, James really... <laughs> Another one of those choppers, like the one that took soot! You hear me? You worked so hard, honey. Why don't you take some leave? We all could use a little break from this reality, don't you think? Wakey, wakey! I'm talking to you, Shiny! Stand back from that door, or I'll shoot her! I swear to Nuke! I don't know what I would do if I ever lost you. You got three seconds! Three! Our family is the only thing I need to be happy. Two! Are you fucking deaf? Promise me, we will stay like this forever. One! Last chance, weirdo! I love you so much, Alex. You okay there, Murphy? Want. Get it away from me! I am sorry. Can you see? It's unstable! Ma'am, please calm down. It's been a very tough evening, and I assure you that everyone wants to be back home with their families. 
Though for some of us, the night has just begun. Pay my bail now. Cash? No problem. Do you take singles? Get back in line. They're here. Good job, Murphy. I think you're forgetting someone. Officer Lewis, you were remarkable. Soot ran off with his tail between his legs. Would've been nice if we caught him, though. All right, all right. Are you done with this circle jerk, huh? Good. We've got a problem. The malfunction caught on camera provokes a question. Can we put our safety into the hands of a machine? Especially one as unreliable as Robocop. We asked Max Becker, the head of security concepts at OCP. Now quiet! We would never put a defective product on the streets. That's not what we do. We all saw it hesitate in a life and death situation. Why? Does it really know right from wrong? Listen, I would trust this guy with my kids. I mean, if I had any. This was just an isolated glitch. Thank you. Mr. Becker, I I've got more questions. I just want to snap her little neck. But, she's got a point. This was not an isolated incident. It's a pattern. A pattern that the old man wants examined and fixed. Time to see what's hiding in that metal head of yours. We know what's in Murphy's head. It's what's in yours that worries us. Push me, and you might just find out. You, follow me. Everyone is dismissed. And Lewis, I need your report on the TV station incident. On the double! On it, Sarge. God damn it, when will this be fixed? Don't hold your breath. There's my favorite walking, talking law enforcement machine. Okay, let's get on it. Why don't you take a seat for me? That's a nasty scar. I'd like to see the other guy. Am I right? You do not. Trust me. Don't mind me. I'll just get this off. So, here's the deal, Robo. The old man is not happy with your performance. Instead of sending you to the scrapyard, as I suggested, he wants to fix you. Hey, pretty boy. You sure know how to make an impression on the ladies. Doesn't it? Hurt him? Hurt? Lady, he's a machine. He's legally dead. We can do whatever we want with him. No, madam. It does not hurt me physically. So we're going to equip you with a little monitoring chip. It will do a real-time check of your systems so we can get to the bottom of what the hell is wrong with you. From now on, your performance will be monitored and graded. So better be on your best behavior, huh? The chip is in. Let's see what we have here.
Well, I can already see some unwanted activity in your hippocampus. We'll have to keep an eye on it. Other than that, everything seems to be installed correctly. To be sure, let's make a simple test to check that all circuits are in order. What are your prime directives? Serve the public trust. Protect the innocent. Uphold the law. Okay, nothing disturbed. However, like with any new upgrade, I recommend visiting the range to check if you need calibration. Is that everything? Actually, no. Doctor? Oh, yes, sorry. Uh, my name is Dr. Olivia Blanche. I'm a police psychologist. I specialize in dealing with police officers suffering from emotional trauma. Emotional trauma? Might as well talk to the microwave. It hasn't been working properly either. OCP wanted to see if you'd be willing to have a talk with me as part of your evaluation. I noticed that a great deal of care has been put into making sure that your mechanical components work. However, one aspect of your composition that has been severely neglected is your human side. Your brain. I agree. If it was up to me, I'd remove it altogether. What do you think, Doctor? Would save us a lot of hassle. I don't mind the hassle. So what do you say, officer? Is that possibly something that could be of interest to you? I am not sure. Robo, Reed wants everyone in the briefing room in five. It's about the new guy. Excuse me, Dr. Blanche, but I am needed elsewhere. Uh, but we... Well, can't say we didn't try. Everyone get back to whatever the fuck you usually do. Man, I tell you, it was crazy in that TV station. Good job, Brad Murphy. You bet. Without him, we'd all be gone. Murphy, I heard your schedule for calibration. Try not to press the button when you're ready. 50 points is what OCP calls a passing grade. Shouldn't be a problem to you. Unless you want to try to break the record. Good job. I'll let the eggheads know that you're good to go. See you in the briefing room. Murphy, could you please help me out here? I just can't do it. There is no way. So, Murphy, what's on today's you agenda? Give me a hand. The agenda is that you sit your ass It's down no secret. Listen. The crime has been on the rise ever since what the media has named the new guy in town showed up in the city. The word on the street is that he wants to spend a lot of money in old Detroit, and that has made every gang in the city start advertising their services. We need to find him before things get out of control. Where do we look? Our best bet is to see if he made contact with the Torchheads. Robo, I want you to start by checking the arcade downtown. It's become a high activity area for punks. Understood. Everyone else, keep your eyes open. Any questions? 
Any word on Briggs? What happened to Briggs? He's been missing since yesterday. Shit. Officer Briggs remains missing. That's over 24 hours since he's been in contact with anyone here. Are the two cases connected? No reason to assume so. But if anyone finds Briggs' informant, we might learn something new. All right, now get out there! You go ahead, partner. I need to write this report. And there's something else I need to do first. Cruiser's ready for you, Robo. Go get him! City, didn't you? It'd be easier to burn it up. Uh, oh. To the ground. Uh, could you please keep the noise down? You're scaring off my customers. You piece of shit! Don't you cops ever get bored with harassing successful entrepreneurs? Hey! This shit is rigged! That's a serious accusation, kiddo. Someone might think I would allow such illegal activity in my high-class business. Which I do not. I get lost. You work for Soot. Tell me where to find him. You cops are giving me a stomach ulcer. Stop asking me about guys I don't know. Withholding information can lead to bigger trouble than a stomach ulcer. Look, I'm a busy man, so I'm going back to my office now. Why don't you join me there, and we'll talk. Oh, on second thought, you can't do that. Because you don't have a warrant, do you? What a douchebag. Come back with a warrant, cop. Oh, I didn't know you had such amazing colors.
Your body readings suggest substance misuse. Oh, man, a real like TJ laser? You are so incredibly shiny. I'm definitely getting more of this stuff. Who sold you drugs? I really shouldn't say, but you are my TV hero, so. All right, all right. Uh, all of the arcade staff will sell to you, as long as you got cash. Unfortunately, I'm broke, but I have a great idea. You, you could help me sneak into the basement. They keep a huge stash of goodies down there. Drugs in the basement? I will take care of that. Would you really do that for me? Way to go, TJ! Is that the ocean? Open the door. I have the warrant. Oopsie. I think I dropped my key somewhere. You'd have to break down this hardened door if you want to get in. That will not be a problem. Surrender your weapons. Open the door, or you will regret it. Can't, can't a guy just sell drugs to kids without you harassing him every five minutes? Who, who am I hurting, huh? They all want it. Where do I find soot? Well, if that's the case, shut it, bozo! Unless you want to end up in the ghost house like that cop's informant! And don't you dare open that door, I'll shoot you! Have it your way.
just stormed into my office. Apparently, his niece's car has been stolen. Find it. This goes to the top of your priority list. You can start by asking about it at some of the local garages. For the record, it's a blue SUX 6000, registered to Melissa Kuzak. You need to be caught so Are you the police informant? Do you know where I can find Soot? Uh, oh man, all great questions, but uh, could you untie me first? They really outdid themselves with these knots. Talk. Hey, I, I don't know how you usually operate, but that type of information don't come free. What is your freedom worth to you? <laughs> That's actually a great point. So, it seems that the new guy saw the punks attack on the TV station and decided to meet with Soot on their turf. The meeting is supposed to take place tonight during Soot's concert. Concert? I know. I'm not really a fan of his music myself. 
But that's not what those shows are really about. Why don't we, uh, get out of here, huh? Lewis, Soot is meeting the new guy tonight at the old slaughterhouse. Copy that. Pick me up at the station. I'll grab my gear. By the way, I've got something for you, Murphy. They call me Pickle. Eh, and you guessed it. There's a funny story behind that name. One time, I saw torture. Nice to be free again. Thanks, Tin Man. Hey, uh, did Briggs tip you off that I might be here? Officer Briggs? Yeah, he's my police go-to guy. Officer Briggs is missing. Missing? Shit. May our city have mercy on him. Need to go. Duty awaits. Uh, uh about that. I've got a favor to ask. I know that Briggs is missing, but I've got something that belongs to him. He must have misplaced it the last time he visited my crib, and it's kind of weighing me down. What is it? It's his wristwatch. Now, I feel bad holding on to it. Could you please give it back to his family? This is stolen property, and you expect me to return it? Gee. That sounds bad when you say it like that, but still, you shouldn't let me hold on to expensive things. That's how I ended up in this situation in the first place. I will make sure they receive it from the repentant thief. Oh, boy. You're a tough negotiator. But surely you owe me now. I gotta chillax after all this. We will proceed with haste. Oh, for God's sakes, man. As you command, Officer Steely. Hey, Tin Man, over here. This is where Briggs lives. Let's get this over with. His watch is burning a hole in my pocket. This is where Soot is supposedly hiding. Can't really call it hiding if he sent invitations to the whole city. A bit rude he forgot about us. Or at least I will not feel bad crashing his party. Murphy, I was thinking about what happened to you at the TV station. Maybe you shouldn't... No need for alarm. Becker's chip is keeping my circuits in check. You're more than just circuits, Murphy. Underneath all that metal, there's still you. Alex Murphy is gone. He lost his life. And despite that burden, you carry on. You've done more for this city dead than anyone has alive. That has to count for something. Uh, I'm gonna shut up now. Just take this little something to remind you of what I've just said. Open it the next time Becker gets under your skin. Also, don't forget you have a partner who's counting on you. Concert in an old slaughterhouse? I suppose it fits those animals. Cannot go this way. We would need a warrant. I can't believe those stupid directives are still holding you back. <clears throat> go ahead, partner. Oh, the stench. Someone missed potty training. If Soot is such a great performer, shouldn't there be a big line in here?
Regardless of his vocal abilities, I still want to see him sing. Yes. I definitely hear some commotion on the other side. Let's have a look, shall we? Oh, shit! Pig Thunder Lab! Why can't you give us a fucking break? Justice never sleeps. Operator, this is Lewis. Me and Murphy discovered a Torchhead's nuke lab at the old slaughterhouse. Multiple subjects were neutralized, but there are still active threats in the vicinity, gang leader included. Requesting backup. Another locked door. I'm going to call this probable cause. No need for a warrant. Yours, partner. there, Murphy? Behind you! No. Up you get, big man. They're closing in on us. Let's split up. You clear this floor, I'll check upstairs. 
Lewis, wait! Don't worry, partner. We'll stay in contact. Everybody. A walking disco ball decided to join us. Now the real show is about to go down. If you're a real torchhead, shoot that motherfucking tin can till it fucking rattles. And I'll take this opportunity to moisturize these golden vocal cords. But stay right there, everybody. Everything lined up perfectly! Let us talk. Stay the fuck away! You can't touch me! I do business with the new guy! You seem to know a lot about him. You're not getting anything out of me! Do you know how many cops I've killed? I ain't scared of you! Besides, I'm pumped up with nuke like a freaking power plant! Then, get ready for a meltdown. If you That's quite a grip you got there! Is that supposed to scare me? Not a single scratch. <laughs> Knock 
knock yourself out! That's not even mine! Hey! That stuff doesn't come cheap! the only thing in my collection that I didn't steal! I freaking hate you! I'll never rest until every pig in Detroit is dead. Screw you, bastard! That is not a way to treat a famous person! You know my birthday? I don't remember getting a gift from you. That's not nice. Knock yourself out! That's not even mine! That's enough! I'll talk! Lewis, I have soot. He is ready to give me his statement about the new guy. Wouldn't you rather hear it from the man himself? Where is Officer Lewis? She's outside, right next to me. We're having a nice citizen officer chat. Why don't you take my rising star and join us so we can exchange partners? Hey! What the hell are you doing now? The new guy is here. You are coming with me. In that case, giddy up! Can you even feel the fear? Because you should be crapping in your pants right now. You have stepped into a big freaking mess! Cleaning up the town. Uh, that was an awesome concert. If it wasn't for you, they would have never have guessed it was all on playback. I need some flu. I take no, no, no. Everywhere I look, I see no. My left hip is getting a bit numb. Can we swap sides? What are we stopping for? Huh? Is your battery drained or something? Now, me and your partner here are growing impatient. Why don't you hurry up? What's wrong? Piggy scared of a meat hook? <laughs> Lewis? I'm all right, Murphy. Drop your weapon. You are under arrest. Oh, I don't think you're reading this situation correctly. <laughs> Thanks for the ride, big guy. Ah, it's the new guy in town. Welcome to Detroit. I assume you've seen our little TV spot, short and sweet. You know the first rule of show business and drug dealing, right? Leave them wanting more. That's a writer you got there. <clears throat> Murphy? Something wrong, cop. Hey, so... I think it's time to get back to business. You fucking idiot. Your stupid stunt put a spotlight on me. Oh, you want to talk business? Here's a free lesson. You never, ever fuck with the money. I don't think so. Murphy. What's happening? Now that we've got that out of the way, let me introduce myself. My name is Wendell Antonowski. I believe you've met my brother before. <laughs> my brother really did a number on you, didn't he? But thanks to him, you've been given this great opportunity. What the fuck are you doing to him? 
There are people who would do anything to be in your position, to have your abilities. And yet, you attach yourself to something that is the weakest in you, to the part that's still human. Imagine the pristine life you could lead without the things that limit you. Murphy, don't let him get inside your head! Like her. No attachments, no leverage. I admit, when I first heard that you were the reason my idiot brother was dead, huh, I was furious. But then I got to thinking, why would I let anyone have such power over me? So I let it go. And now, I'm here to help you do the same. This is not an act of revenge. This is a gift. Fuck you, scumbag! Lewis! Another fucking glitch. What a shit show. Everything's ready. Switch him back on already. Lewis! Oh, Robo. Calm down. He'll tear the equipment apart. Wendell Antonowski ran away and Lewis is in the hospital. What did you do? Just stand there and watch it as it happened? I want to see her. She's in surgery as we speak, so that's not gonna happen. Instead, you're gonna go through with your psych evaluation. Let me go! The old man wasn't happy that I let you skip your first session and was adamant that I make sure you attend this one. Especially since the problem of you malfunctioning is obviously persistent. So, Doctor, do your thing. What? Now? He's in no shape to be examined. I'm afraid that I must insist. This is highly unprofessional. I need to apprehend Wendell. I don't think you understand your options, Shiny, in that you don't have any. You either comply, or you'll be dismantled. I'm only really rooting for one of these options. Very well. Doctor? If this is supposed to resemble a therapy session in any way, I need everyone that isn't my client to leave. That is not negotiable. And is it necessary to have him restrained? That's for your safety. What if he loses control? <sighs> exactly. If anything goes wrong, just use this reset button. One press, and he goes back to La La Land. Okay, let's leave the good doctor to work. And Robo, see me after this is over. I'm sorry it has to look like this. Are you at least sitting comfortably enough to have this conversation? My partner was shot, and I need to find the person responsible. You do. But I think you'll agree that you should be in the best shape possible to undertake that task. I understand this is not an ideal situation, and this is probably the last place you want to be right now. I'm not the only one unwilling to be here. Your heart rate is above 120 BPM. You're equipped with a heart rate monitor? I imagine it comes in handy in your line of work. It does. I agree this whole thing is happening rather fast, but we are both professionals at helping others. So how about we start again? My name is Dr. Olivia Blanche. Naturally, I've heard people refer to you by different names, but I'm curious to hear which one you prefer. Robocop is the name I was given. If that is what you prefer, then Robocop it is. I've worked with many police officers that have gone through traumatic experiences, but I think we can both agree that you are no ordinary police officer. How do you see your situation? I am a cybernetic organism a fusion of both the remains of the policeman Alex Murphy and this high-tech armor. So we can't rule out that your actions are influenced by your human part. But that's something that I've already learned from the reports, 
What I would much rather hear is how do you perceive yourself? Perceive? Yes. See, what I found immensely helpful in working with my patients is transparency. In order to help each other, we need to be able to see each other fully. This is how I see myself. Thank you for making this step. Now that you see me the way I am, do you wish to push the reset button? Your heart rate remains high. No, not at all. It's actually my secret that is making me nervous, not yours. You're not the only one here with prosthetic body parts. This hand, you must have wondered what happened. Some time ago, I was a victim of a crime. A thief broke into my house. He made a lot of noise and my neighbors called the police. An Ed 209 reacted to the call and mistakenly recognized me as a threat. My hand was red mist moments later. Since that day, I have become, let's say, a little leery of machines. Do you fear me? I fear the unpredictability that machines bring with them. So when I heard there was a chance to contribute to the research on the stability of OCP's mechanical units, I jumped at the opportunity. I hope you don't find it unprofessional. Getting that off my chest made me feel a bit better. How about you check my pulse now? It has dropped below 120 BPM. You see, I don't just impose things onto my clients. I practice what I preach because it seems to work. I think that makes for a very promising start. Thank you, Robocop. There's something I need to show you. I know that OCP can be a real pain in the ass, but this might change your mind a bit. We've been working behind the scenes on giving your sidearm the treatment it deserves. The Auto 9 can now be equipped with a motherboard. Once the motherboard is in, you'll be able to mount a number of processors on it. Each processor can vastly improve your aim, damage, or stability. See for yourself. Be on the lookout. There's OCP tech in everything. You wouldn't believe how many useful processes can be salvaged from old devices. Okay. Any news on Luis? Not yet. But she's been through worse. Hey, Murphy, do you have a minute? It's about Lewis. Did you say Lewis? Yeah. Me and a bunch of guys decided to sign this get well card for her. I figured that you'd want to sign it as well. A get well card? Yeah, I know it's... It's just that we want to let her know we're with her. I am sure she will appreciate that. Uh, thanks, Murphy. I knew you'd understand. Actually, there are a few signatures that we still need. Could you ask them? I think I need a break. I had to start. Kowalski is hiding somewhere in the lobby. Understood. Thank you for this opportunity, Mr. Becker. Uh, you are very determined. I must have seen your application like 20 times. I assumed they were getting lost in the mail. Huh, that didn't stop you, did it? You're persistent and capable, too. Highest marks on all the written tests? Pretty much an ideal candidate. 
Aside from the fact that you don't meet any of the physical requirements, that's actually remarkable. Short stuff. Unfortunately, sir. Why is being a cop so important to you? My father was a police officer, and his father was one too. Oh, a police family, huh? It must be heartbreaking not to be able to continue a family tradition. You know, I have the power to look the other way and make you a cop despite your shortcomings. In exchange, I only ask for one thing. Your complete loyalty. And maybe a touch of gratitude as well. Will I still get a badge? Like a proper police officer? Badge? Oh yeah, sure. Then Officer Washington is reporting for duty. Good. There you go, youngin. Is... Is that blood? We don't make a badge for every new officer. We just reassign the old ones after cops retire. Or die. R Robocop. I'm a big fan. Well, that's great, because you'll be spending a lot of time together. Meaning? Aside from his regular dispatch duty, Officer Washington will become your personal overseer. Overseer? Yes, you will report to me on his every action. Hopefully that will prevent him from continuing to tarnish his already murky reputation. His recent behavior casts a shadow on OCP, and we can't have that. That's a lot of responsibility for a rookie. Every other cop refused this post. But you won't. You wouldn't jeopardize your career, right? Uh, no, sir. I would like to proceed with my investigation, now that we know that the new guy is Wendell Antonowski. Was he even listening to anything I've been saying? Absolutely fucking not. You're off the case. Actually, you're off all cases. There's a bunch of documents that need archiving in the records room. That's your priority now. Understood. Now go. I'll tell Achilles about what's what in this godforsaken place. It's Ulysses, sir. Hey, first rule, kiddo. Never question your superiors. Uh, hi, Murphy. What seems to be the problem? Uh, Mr. Becker wants you to do some maintenance work, so... You know, please scan the servers, see if they're operating properly. I'm sure they are, but he insisted I found a job here for you. Yeah, I wish I had something more exciting for you to do, since for me, this is where all the action happens. Explain. With this wealth of information at your fingertips, this records room should be a real hotbed of activity. Others don't seem to know how fun it is to dig through all this stuff. You can play a real-life detective here. Officer Cecil. You are a detective. Yeah, but mostly just a paper pusher. So, if one wanted to find out the whereabouts of a particular criminal, what would one do? That's easy. Just check the computer in the back. Type in who you're looking for and see if there are any matches. Uh, j just remember to scan the servers at some point. Mr. Becker will blow his top if I don't make sure you checked him. I'm telling you, this is incredible. Just type in your search. He's never been charged? Well, that's hard to believe. There's a, a neat feature you can try. See who attempted to access his file before you did. Maybe that'll help us. Officer Briggs. Briggs? That must be the last lead that he checked before going missing. So his case led him to the Street Vultures territory? Maybe those two cases are connected after all. I'll have to report this to Sergeant Reed. And I am on my way. There's nothing I can say to stop you, is there? No. Well, then instead I'll say, go kick ass for Lewis. Perfect working condition.
Ah, Robocop. I was looking everywhere for you. I wanted to say that this is an incredible honor for me. But, you know, I get the feeling you don't see eye to eye with Mr. Becker. Yet, despite the position I'm in, I'll do my best to assist you in any way I can. So, what are you doing here? I am going to Highland Park. Now, isn't that street vultures turf? That is where the lead took Briggs. It could be connected to Wendell. Oh, man. That's exactly what Mr. Becker told me you shouldn't do. It, it's my duty to stop you. Is it even safe for you to go? I mean, think of yourself. You keep malfunctioning, right? What if something happens again? Hey, Murphy, I found this on the back seat of your cruiser. It's for you. I can't let you go. Uh, is there some sort of a command for that? Uh, Robocop, off. Uh, Robocop, stay. Hey, all cops have to follow rules. Especially you. You're a cop and a machine, so you can't go. Your systems won't allow it. Right? Wrong. Uh, uh, Robocop? Robocop? Don't do this to me. Not on my first day. I know you're listening. There is still time to stop and turn back. The street vultures are territorial and vicious. You wouldn't want to be caught on their turf, especially by their leader, Spike. You know, I'm, I'm reading that he's known to be exceptionally savage. Apparently, none of his enemies got out of Highland Park alive. I will be the first. Uh, I'm gonna get fired. police officer there will be like looking for a needle in a haystack. I'm looking at the map of this place and it's huge. There's no way you can investigate without being noticed. Street vultures are the biggest gang in Detroit. I have a large supply of bullets. Blood trail visible on the ground. I will follow it. Abandoned squad car sighted. It could belong to Officer Briggs. I, I can't report it based on your assumption. I'm already in enough trouble. There is blood on the seat. I mean, it's possible it belongs to someone else. Bullet holes in the bodywork. <laughs> Every cop car in the precinct has bullet holes. OCP tracking device torn out. That's why no one knew where to look. I am going to follow the blood trail leading from the car. I, I know you really want to find Briggs, but the trail might as well belong to any of those bikers. I'm urging you to discontinue this search. Negative.
I've got no weapons. I am looking for a police officer. Hey, I don't know anything. I'm just an accountant. He was brought here. There is always so much happening around here. I tend to focus on my work. I wouldn't remember. Would you like me to refresh your memory? No. Police officer, I get you. You're right. Not long ago, they brought him here. He was already in real bad shape. I kind of felt for the guy. Where is he? Once he got back on his feet, they took him away. But I don't know where. I'm telling the truth. I only deal with numbers. If you need any more info on your friend, try the warehouse office. It's on the west side of the mill. Do not move until I return. No problem. If anyone finds me cuffed up here, I will look as tough as the others. Are you ready to come back to the precinct? Negative. A wounded officer, perhaps Briggs, was moved to another location. I have a thug's testimony. Proceeding to the enemy command center. How can you be sure that he's not leading you into a lion's den? I am hoping for it. You're hopeless. Yeah. 
That whole area is out of police jurisdiction. And according to the new policy, if we wanted to legally be there, we'd need to go through an OCP executive. Where you know what Becker's standpoint is. I'm starting to understand why he hired me. You're a handful. I knocked his fucking tooth out. Well, cop, now we know you won't be leaving here in one piece. You won't either. Hey, you're spoiling my mood again. I don't like it when cops wander around. Cops mean trouble, and trouble upsets me. So really, this is your fault. Do whatever you want. 
But soon the cops no. will... No. No cop of any kind is going to show up here anymore. The police officially won't be responding to any calls from this area. Does this mean we have a deal? As long as you can work quietly. We're vultures. You need carrying. We're up to the job, no worries. And as for your toy... Would you like to join us? A fine offer. Sealing our contract in blood. But I prefer cleaner games. How about instead we do some hunting? Could add a bit of cheer. Spice things up a bit. And I know just the right place for it. How does it feel knowing we're gonna take you to the quarry and shoot your ass to pieces? And the police ain't gonna do shit about it. I bet it really pisses him off. Your readings are off the charts. What happened? I found a tape of Briggs being tortured. Their boss, Spike, was in on it, together with Wendell Antonowski. Did you say he was tortured? Yes, surrounded, with no way out and no backup. That sounds so messed up. They used him as prey. They mentioned a quarry. Uh, did, did you say quarry? Okay, let me, let me have a look. Yeah, I see it. It's just north of your position. On my way. Robocop, I really hope you find him. I will not stop oh, until shit. I do. Oh, so you think you're a tough guy, huh? If you really think you got the guts, come on.
Cherish the good times while they last. You won't be so lucky with the next one. Robocop? Are you there? I am. Um... Oh, thank God. <sighs> How was it? Was that a risk worth taking? I have collected <laughs> documents. Spike must have felt confident about his small army. So I'm guessing you're ready for round two? I am going for a knockout. Robocop, your body temperature is very low. Are you okay? I am in the freezer. What is a freezer even doing there? They used it to store Briggs' body. Oh. So that means... He was not the only victim. <sighs> More bodies? That's insane. I'm getting you back up. Even if it gets me in trouble. The only person who should expect trouble is Spike. Robocop, all available patrol cars are coming to support you. I've told them to meet you by the old workers' building. According to reports, it's part of their headquarters. And Robocop, I'm sorry it took so long. I hope you can forgive me for the freshman attitude. I was just trying to do my best. You want a piece of this? us. We're transforming death and decay into life. That was the deal. I can hear the cavalry. I don't know how you did it, but I'll make sure you won't be in this place of mine.
I'll make the sauce pipe. This is Manson. We've cornered the bikers in the mill, but we could use some help. We're at the southeast gate. Acknowledged. On my way. Good, you're here. We're standing our ground. The bikers have retreated to the yard behind that big gate. Now, let's decide on the strike team. I go on my own. No need to risk lives. OCP has supplied us with an ED-209. Maybe you could make use of it. Even if it is just for cover. Robocop, can I have a moment of your time? Can you leave him alone, lady? You caused him enough trouble already. Hey, I just want the people to know what's going on in their city. 
Can't say she isn't good at what she does. She got here before us. Anyway, it's up to you. If you need a bit of time to speak with her or wrap up anything else around here, it's not a problem. Those bikers aren't going anywhere. But if you're ready to go, Ed 209 is here for your support. Just say the word. Their time is up. I am going in. Good luck, Murphy. and Robocop fighting hand in hand? I can't wait to see how this goes. I'm guessing you're close to catching Spike. Maybe he could lead us to Wendell. If those two struck a secret deal, no wonder Wendell ditched the punks. Anyway, be careful in there. I wouldn't be surprised if that slime had more tricks up his sleeve. Can't end like this. Murphy, you got the cop killer. 
You decided to trespass on our turf. And that shit doesn't fly with us. What's that noise? Please put down your weapon. You have 20 seconds to comply. The situation is under control. You now have 15 seconds to comply. Stand back. I'm doing one better, cop. I'm out of here. You now have five seconds to comply for I said three, everything is two, under control. One, and I stand am now there. authorized to use physical force. Been here. Ed 209 malfunctioned. Uh, is is he still alive? I am afraid not. OCP sent us a malfunctioning unit. I bet they did that on purpose. And what about the other cop killer? Where did Spike go? Wherever he went, justice will find him. I am looking for a female officer who arrived yesterday with a gunshot wound. You need to be a little more specific, honey. Her name is Lewis. She is in a coma. Ah, oh, second floor. Take the elevator. Uh, my wife. She was with me when they started shooting. I'm 
Yes. Sir, you're not allowed in there. That's the VIP section of the hospital. There's so much room in there, and we're all cramped up in this little space. Sir, please calm down. Hey, Murphy. She's right here. Another visitor? She's in a stable condition. You know, some think that people in her state can hear what's happening around them, even if they don't respond. Why don't you try talking to her? Now, I'll leave you two alone. Hello, Lewis. Allow me to update you on our case. I know you would hate to be behind on the investigation. I found Officer Briggs. He is dead. Wendell Antonowski has the street vultures collecting bodies. His intent is not clear. I opened your present. It helped. Thank you. I could really use your advice, Lewis. Take the body downstairs. But there's no more room in the morgue. Didn't you hear? Someone stole a bunch of bodies over the weekend. A corpse thief? What is this world coming to? Lewis, you always find a way to help. I'll keep her safe. Don't you worry about her. Pressure. I've got 40 pal. Of course, VFEB. Okay, we gotta shock him. Let's get the ambu bag. Stand clear, shock him. Clear. All right, no pulse. Let's go intracardiac epinephrine. Okay, everybody, clear. Stand clear. All right, I think that's all we can do. Let's call it. Most of the time. 6.15. Robocop, what a surprise. I'm guessing you're here about the missing bodies? No one from the police has come to talk to us yet. I suppose you are preoccupied with the living rather than the dead. Tell me about the case. Usually, we're pretty packed. There are even some bodies that have been here since Christmas. But a couple of nights ago, someone broke into the hospital and stole 30 of them. It's been a blessing in disguise, really. We've got so many unclaimed bodies that I feel like I'm starting to form relationships with them. Is there any link between the bodies? Actually, there is. Our thieves were very picky. All of the corpses had their brains intact. They didn't take a single corpse that had documented brain trauma. I've got to say, they were very thorough. Anything else? That's it for me, but talk to the security guard in the lobby. He should know more. Now that I'm looking at you, didn't I work on you? I recognize that jawline. Finally! What do you know about the disappearance at the morgue? Sure, sure, I know I'm just a security guard, but I know how you operate. I've seen the shows, so let me break it down for you the way you'd understand. I estimate the incident occurred at around 300 hours. Multiple perps entered the GMH from the east and then proceeded to the BLE. Then most likely used the EFS to get down to the MORGUE. What can you tell me about the perps? We caught there later. You caught him? Where is he? Oh, I mean on camera. Now, there it is. 
Caucasian male, late forties, dapper dresser, if I can say so myself. That was very helpful. Thank you for your cooperation. No problem. Just because I don't have a badge or a service weapon or a cruiser and partner or even a bulletproof vest, that doesn't mean that I can't be of help to the police. Good to see you in one piece, Robo. Mr. Becker wasn't happy when he heard about your little trip to Highland Park. But between you and me, what you did was quite impressive. Maybe it wasn't an authorized mission, but it can still give us an idea of how your systems are holding up. So, let's see how you did. Thank you for your cooperation. What's all the commotion? OCP needs to pay. This is not the time. You all know the procedure by now. Officer Cecil will gather Briggs' belongings and deliver them to the family. They asked for a small funeral, so I expect everyone to give the family space. Briggs was one of us. We should at least do something to honor him. The best thing we can do is get those butchers that did this to him. I want to see everyone in the briefing room in ten minutes. Now back to work! Hey, Murphy. You've been to the hospital, haven't you? How's Lewis? Unconscious, but stable. <sighs> She'll pull through. I'm sure of it. It's time to hold OCP accountable. This can't keep happening. Relax, Kaplan. He's not wrong. How many more of us have to end up in the hospital or a morgue before we do something? It's like Sarge said, we need to get the guy who did it, so maybe let's focus on that? Speaking of which, there's someone who might know something. There's a guy in the jail that wants to talk to you, Robo. See you later in the briefing room. Welcome back, Robo. You have a minute? Ah, there's my favorite. First of all, I wanted to say I'm sorry that I hesitated back at that steel mill. I already filed a report on the incident to Mr. Becker. Fucking right. As I was writing it, I noticed a lot of opportunities to better myself. But considering that was our first mission together, it wasn't all bad, right? There are plenty of places to improve. That's actually something I wanted to ask you about. I've been getting to know different aspects of being a cop, and there's one thing that I keep underperforming at. It's shooting. Would you mind showing me how you practice at the range? Maybe later. Sure thing. I'll wait at the range. Why are you in this cell? I come here to think sometimes, and the food is better than in the soup kitchen. That is called freeloading. If it's free, I'll take it. But seriously, I was hoping to see you. I heard what happened to Briggs. After everything he did for me, I'll do whatever I can to help you catch that Wendell guy. He seems pretty good at pitting people against each other. Maybe I'll find some of his dissatisfied customers who'd be willing to talk to me. It could be dangerous. You kidding? On the streets, I'm a samurai. Well, with Briggs dead, it probably makes me more of a... 
You are not a Ronin. Yeah, okay. Just remember, if you need anything, I'm your guy. the one that has to do but it's not fair thanks to robocop's insubordination we finally have something concrete at your service wendell antonowski struck a deal with the street vultures at highland park a place where for some reason we weren't supposed to go be that as it may we're on the lookout for anyone from this biker gang we also know what he's looking for yeah Dead bodies. Dead bodies whose brains are still intact, to be precise. Wow. That's even more messed up. Why would he need them? We'll get to the whys, but for now we need to focus on catching Spike. He's our connection to Wendell Antonowski. Since they know we're onto them, I'm expecting them to be in hiding. They're not hiding. Put on Channel 9. What in the hell? I repeat, OCP Bank is being robbed by the notorious street vultures. We'll keep trying to get closer for a better view. All right, everyone pack up. I want you all to be at SWAT's disposal. Sergeant, am I back on the case? I don't think Becker will give me grief if I let you go save OCP's money. You're reinstated. Everyone, move out! Look at that. One of the cops was actually bothered to show up. No need, SWAT's got it covered. What is the situation? Vultures came up with the great idea of robbing the OCP bank. They've got hostages, and they claim there's a bomb. They must be crazy to think that OCP will just let them leave with their money. Was there any sighting of Spike? Not yet. But I'm sure they wouldn't pull such a stunt without their leader. What is the plan? Let me make this clear. It's SWAT's plan. You're no part of it. Then you are going to need a new plan. this buggy brain of yours, you think you still remember how to put the heat on them scumbags? I prefer to serve justice cold. Let's see who tags them all first. Contact! Contact! It's your metal friend how it's done, boys.
down your weapons! Bring down your weapons! turned out to be quite intense. Ed 209's behaving themselves? So far, so good. You should be heading towards the vault. It's through the office area. Please put down your weapons. Please put down your weapons. Put down your weapons. gate in lockdown mode in front of you. Find a way to get past it. Try finding the weakest spot in the wall around the gate and breach through that. You now have 15 seconds to comply. You now have 15 seconds to comply. You now have 15 seconds to comply. like you're all that impressive. With all that fancy tech, a brick would know how to shoot. Robocop, I've received information that the bank manager is held hostage in the vault. Where exactly is it? Find the manager's office, and we'll go from there. It's at the far end. Your presence here is unauthorized. So is depriving thousands of people of a roof over their heads. But OCP doesn't seem to mind that. Explain. Delta City. A heaven on earth that OCP plans to build in place of old Detroit? A city of the future where there is no crime or poverty. Do you believe the commercials? I am working on the no crime part. Then OCP may become the object of your attention soon. In order to create Delta City, OCP must first get rid of people who live in old Detroit. Now that's a topic I'd rather do a story on than you glitching. OCP offered these people investment in the project. The value of their property would cover the cost of entering the business. The later gains will far outweigh the cost, supposedly. You do not believe that. It's OCP. There must be a catch, and I think I found it. The documents say something about additional costs. I believe that's a loophole that OCP placed in order to scam people out of their homes. That is only suspicion. And I need time to prove that my suspicion is true. Time and some of these documents I found. If you detain me, the SWAT jerks will requisition them. Good intentions. Do not release you from obeying the law. You are now detained. You're going to let OCP scam innocent people. You're nothing more than a police manual on metal legs. They may call you Murphy, but you're nothing like that guy. He's dead. The documents here say that his wife is getting a widow's pension. Do you think OCP would do that for a cop who's still alive? 
take her away. I can see you've reached the manager's office. Great. Now look for a switch that unlocks the doors that lead to the vault. If I was a bank manager, I would... Now, take the doors behind the desk and turn left. The way to the vault should be open now. I will not contribute to depriving my great... Robocop! I knew our founder would send his best! <sighs> We're not done yet. Mr. Becker, you're, you're still alive! I only played dead so I didn't end up like you, with a bomb strapped to my body. Robocop, you have to defuse it. The explosion could cause the company enormous losses. I need the support of a combat engineer. I saw that Orpheus kid playing puzzle games on his brakes. Ask him for help. I'll be watching you from a safe distance. Officer Washington, I am looking at a ticking bomb. A, a bomb? Okay, uh, I'm passing you through to the bomb squad. There is no time. I will need your help to defuse it. Gosh, I mean, I, I'll do my best, but, but just give me a moment. First aid, kidnapping. Are you looking for a bomb defusing chapter in the police manual? Found it. First rule. Call qualified personnel. Oh, no. Okay. Tell me what you see. Four connectors with different voltage. What's the highest voltage? 24 volts. It is a C4 explosive and seems to be homemade. Yeah, that's what I'd expect from the street vultures. Four cables, green, two reds, and blue. Four cables? Got it. Cables lead to the fuse. Does the fuse appear to be electronic? Affirmative. Okay. So they used this kind of bomb before. According to the diagram, you should detach three cables. Start from the one with the highest voltage, then proceed down one at a time to the one with the lowest voltage. There are two different color 12 volt cables. Which one do I detach first? Uh, okay, maybe this isn't the time, but I'm colorblind. I will have to improvise. Just remember, detach the one with the highest voltage first, then proceed down to the lowest voltage. It was just a minor incident. Ready to get back to business? Cause I need to make a withdrawal. Like now. Well, I should really check upstairs. Nonsense. This is OCP. Money comes first. <sighs> now, open the vault. Th there you go, sir. Great. Now out of my way.
What the hell is this? Where is all the money? Our founder has most of our capital tied up in a very ambitious and resource-heavy project. Uh, I can't believe old man's blowing all of OCP's money on Delta City. Have some respect, young man. Arnold's back with the money in the next... We're leaving. You should be proud to work for such a great man. At this rate, soon there might be no one left to work for him. See what I'm talking about? I am in pursuit of the remaining bikers. I have followed them into a tunnel. So that's how they must have gotten here in the first place. It seems they're retreating into the old industrial... You ain't me! Good! That must be where they've hidden their getaway vehicle. You gotta hurry.
I am listening, creep. Robocop! Why did Wendell Antonowski send you here? This was a suicide mission. We no longer deal with that arrogant prick. We had an agreement. We held our end of it. And apparently it slipped his mind to pay us for our services. Well, that didn't sit well with us. So now we're out to get what we're owed. The only thing you are owed is a prison cell. Yeah, I don't think so. I'm a vulture. I need my space. I'll see you around, cop. There he is! Interventions! Before the attack, we all thought our money would be safe at the OCP I bank. Have pertinent information yeah. regarding Glad we got Murphy on our team. We'll get to that, Murphy. But right now, it's time for your psych evaluation. Becker will chew my ear off if I don't make sure you take part in it. So go. Dr. Blanche is already waiting in the observation room. Once it's over, join us in the briefing room. What's the big idea? Piece of junk taser blew the fuse when I tried to charge it. <laughs> so it I'm ready for you, Robo. Send us insulated gloves. I'm afraid not. All right. Looks like Let's see really what's cooking under the hood. hood. God knows Once I'm done, next. he's all yours, Doctor. Hey, what's that look supposed to mean? Hello, Robocop. Congratulations. I've seen your accomplishment on TV. I hope that I'll manage to remain professional despite sitting opposite a celebrity. How do you feel about being acclaimed as a hero again? I serve the public trust. I do not do it for fame. No. Your sense of duty is what drives you, that's clear. I'm sure you'd love to share this accomplishment with Anne Lewis. You've seen her at the hospital, haven't you? How is she? She is stable. You cherish that relationship, don't you? She's an important part of your life. Your past life, too. She is. Just like your family. You're very protective of your past. OCP cut me off from my family. And how do you view their decision to separate you from them? My programming does not allow for family life. No. I guess that was never the intention. Nevertheless, you still think about them, don't you? What comes to mind when you try to remember your family? I see. Memories can be painful. Especially when they're connected to the ones you love. They tend to remind us of what we're missing. The thief that broke into my house I mentioned before. He was my brother. He was an addict who'd come over to steal things to sell so he could buy drugs. As you can imagine, my last memory of us together is not a happy one. But despite that, I still wouldn't want to lose it. It serves as a reminder of how I failed him. And I've been trying to rectify it ever since. I do not remember my family. I can only feel them. These feelings, how do they manifest themselves? as echoes of the past. But OCP sees them as obstacles that need to be removed. And now you're afraid that they sent me here to convince you they are right? Did they? What you need to understand is that regardless of outside influences, my client's well-being takes highest priority. Especially now that I understand how important these memories are to you. 
I will fight for you in every way I know how. If you let me. I think this is a good place to end this session. Thank you for your honesty. It certainly has been noted. I've got plenty to think about for now. Yeah, just keep following the road. All right. The situation at the bank was contained was in a relatively uh, smooth up. fashion. <laughs> so what did we learn from it? When it's oh, their right. money on the line, OCP will send RoboCop, the entire SWAT team, and a bunch of Ed 209s that actually work. Anything else? Wendell Antonowski no longer deals with the street vultures. That's right. There's been a rift in their midst, and I want to know why. Spike has proven to be talkative, under suitable conditions. That's why I want you all to head to the city and do some actual police work. We need to find Spike. The attack on OCP Bank was a desperate move. I'm sure there's plenty of theories floating around. So we need to listen to what the streets are saying to find where the vultures are hiding. I know someone versed in street talk. Talk to him. And, oh, I almost forgot. Murphy? Once you're downtown, the old man wants to meet with you. Oh, the old man himself? <laughs> what an honor. Yeah, he's the closest Detroit has to real-life royalty. Maybe for saving him all that money, he'll knight you or something. Enough. Head downtown, ask around, and most importantly, find Spike. Robocop! Over here! You wouldn't want to make the mayor of Detroit wait, would you? Robocop is getting a face to face with the old man himself? Hey, Shiny. I tell him all about how the Gotta OCP is fucking us over. No, you wouldn't. How are you feeling it's after the incident at the bank? Again. Who gives a shit? I heard that you're heading to the city. Once you're out there, I, was part of a call I want you to check one apartment for me. There's suspicion of domestic terrorism and corporate espionage, so expect a warm welcome. Should I assume hostility from the suspect? I assume you'll find sensitive data there. Look for it thoroughly and make sure it comes straight back to my hands. Tenement across the street from the arcade, apartment 12. Now go, I've got to prepare for a meeting. And remember, if you won't take care of it, another cop will have to. Another cop that isn't quite as resistant to deadly surprises as you are. Hey you, the old man is waiting for you upstairs. Do you think it's gonna hold This entrance to the building is off matter. limits. The old man's waiting. So, it's true what they say. You do have some kind of defect. Oh, it's 
Good to see you, my boy. Leave us. I want to talk to him in private. You have to excuse me for not getting up. I'm in a rather unfortunate state. You did exceptional work at the bank. I want you to know that I am deeply grateful for your service to OCP and the city of Detroit. See, I grew up in this very apartment, or what's left of it. It used to be a thriving neighborhood, nothing like what you see right now. I always dreamt of turning it into the most prosperous district in the city, a new heart of Detroit. Can you imagine? Or do you think it's just an old fool's pipe dream? I agree with all city improvement plans that have the citizens' well-being in mind. Glad to know you approve. Delta City's construction is about to start. Finally, the old and frail will be replaced with the new and strong. Decay and death are terrible things. You lose everything you worked for your entire life. But I don't have to tell you what that's like. It really makes me wonder, has the time you spent in that armor been a burden to you? You cannot complain about the life that was granted to you. That's very humble of you. The real reason I've summoned you here is because I'm worried. I'm aware of your instability problems, and it's not a matter that we can overlook. That's why I've requested to have people look after you. Tell me, how are you finding your evaluations with Dr. Blanche? It helps me with perspective, but it also brings out things buried. That's part of the recovery process. I can imagine it's not a pleasant experience, but I can't express how much I'd like you to keep at it. I'm sure that becoming a liability is the last thing you'd want. Am I right? That is correct. Now we've reached an understanding. Tell me, is there anything I could do to put your mind at ease? My partner has been severely wounded and is being treated at Gibson Memorial Hospital. I'll make sure she gets the best care there is. Thank you. I have to say, you brought a lot of hope into this old man's heart. Now, excuse me. I'm not supposed to exert myself too much. <laughs> Doctor's orders. And you can't argue with them. Take care of yourself. Oh. Holy shit! What was that? Robocop. Not such a piece of junk after all. Hey Murphy, are you done with the old man's tea party? Remember to get back in touch with your informer. See if he has any info that could get us back on the biker's lead. Spike is still out there. OCP wants to raise towers of glass and steel. but I can't see my FTO anywhere. Could I have his name, please? Over. Sure thing. It's Officer Rat. He should be in one of the dumpsters. That's the only place he belongs, if you catch my drift. Over and out. Greetings. Waiting for the movie screening. 
Just browsing to find which movie would most enhance my nuke experience. The longer you stick to a path, the harder it gets to abandon it. Amen to that. Now, nah, tell me, what's the next job for the police's finest duo? I need information on Spike's whereabouts. That SOB. I'll never forgive him for what he did to Briggs. Luckily, there ain't much left of the street vultures after the bank heist. They're probably laying low. But now you mention it, I heard about a biker who had a crash near the riverbank just behind the mart. So, your best bet is to check out the scene of the accident, or maybe hit up a nearby mechanic to see if they know anything. Thank you. You have given me all I need. I, I know you're busy, but there's something that I need your help with. I will not be involved in any illegal activity. <laughs> That's very presumptuous of you. I just need help finding a VHS tape in the rental place across the street. The title slipped my mind and I assume you've got like a database or something in your head that'll make looking for it a breeze. So what do you say? Will you help me look for it? There are crimes happening that need attention. That's not a no. I'll be waiting here if you change your mind. Ugh, all they're playing are sequels. I hate sequels. Why didn't you come up with something original? I completely agree. Greetings, citizen. Sorry, officer, but I got no one to help since my best mechanic got slaughtered. None of you cops did jack about it. I am here in regards to a fugitive. Oh, damn. What is wrong with this thing? I need to get that car down, or God knows what might happen. Can you help me out with this? It's new, and I don't know where I put the manual. Stand back. Go on, then. Let's see how it's done. I thought you knew how to bring that car down. Can't be that hard. It doesn't start. Pop the hood. So, do you know what the problem is? The coil has been disconnected. That would explain the car not starting. Spark plugs are not the main culprit. There is no power. I detected an electric current inside the cooling tank. I recommend grounding it to fix the problem, but I... Batter is fine, stable, above 12 volts. That's one thing checked off then. I'm guessing it's an easy fix. <laughs> it started. We're on the money. Well done, Robocop. You are one serious Swiss Army man. I am best at catching criminals. I should get back to it. You said earlier you were looking for someone. A biker. Have you repaired any motorcycles recently? As a matter of fact, I did. This big, chunky guy showed up. Bald head, big ears, and spiky beard. Wasn't really warm and cuddly, but he paid cash in advance. So why would I refuse? Do you know the whereabouts of this individual? I don't. But he asked me if I do paint jobs too, then showed me a ripped out page that had a tattoo design on it. He asked me to spray a mean looking bird onto his gas tank. Thank you for the information. Proceeding to the tattoo parlor.
We should vote Kuzak. The Mills guy's just another suit. He knows nothing about ordinary. Full metal armor and you still want piercings. Hey, respect. I am not here for that. A tattoo then. It'll really bring out that jawline. How about I bring out your jawline? Hey man, no pressure. I was just trying to be helpful. Anyway, if you're not here for inking, what do you want? A biker called Spike. I heard he was your customer. I don't serve no bikers. Don't know who told you that, but it's a load of bull. Are you denying making tattoos for the street vultures? <laughs> You've got no proof, cop. Now stay off my case. I need to get back to my work. What next? You're gonna try to tell me that I'm smuggling nuke in a red inker? Do you? You still here? I don't want my customers to confuse my parlor for an auto shop. I found evidence of your connections to the biker gang. Uh, I'm not telling you nothing, cop. Spike and what is left of the street vultures are going down. It is your choice if you want to join them. Ah, oh, fuck. I told him not to come in here when he was so hot. He brought this on himself. Where is he? Uh, he's got a place nearby somewhere, but I don't know where exactly. I am afraid this information is too vague. His motorcycle must be parked outside. It's some sort of chopper, I don't know. You can check the plate number on that photo. Wise choice for a scum artist. Oh, I can't concentrate with all those reflections bouncing off your armor. Hey, Robocop. Mr. Mills would like to have a word. He's waiting in the car. Is this the right button? Can it hear me? Yes, sir. He can hear you. Hey, Silver Boy. The tracker says you were near the apartment of that domestic terrorist we talked about. Your memory is probably glitchy, so I figured I'd send you a friendly reminder. Check the place out. How do you guys end these? Over and out? There's no need. Over and out. Ugh. I hate the day shift. <laughs> Is that true? Mary has to close a restaurant? Two words. Delta City. Still no joy with the broadcast! 
fucking OCP's good for nothing piece of shit. Be quiet, you moron! Yes, we'll get it working in no time, Mr. Wendell, sir. Yes, we won't screw it up. He's using you, just like he used us. He hired us, but he failed to deliver. That's why we went to get what we were owed. Ah! Oh. Talk about a sore loser. You had your chance and you blew it. Now it's the torch head's turn. Deal with it, biker bitch. I wanted to say don't be stupid, but who would I be kidding? Oh, oh shit, we've got company. Mind if I join the party, creeps? You weren't invited. Let's crush this tin can. Just look. <laughs> What did Wendell make you do? You saw it yourself. He needed us to extract brains from corpses. Most of my men didn't have the stomach for it. Why brains? He would never say. Wendell keeps his cards close to his chest. Where is he? When? Now? Uh, I bet it'd be in front of a screen, wherever that fucking signal is supposed to reach. Because he's always watching. Operator, requesting an ambulance. One unconscious fugitive suffering heavy blood loss. Operator, Wendell's trail leads to the outskirts west of town. Continuing pursuit. First they can't even connect a few fucking cables, and now they don't even answer. Shh. It's the new guy. He's waiting for some bigwig to show up.
He's planning to do some psycho presentation. And who is the bigwig? That's what I want to find out. Mr. W, we still have no contact with the Funhouse. I'm on the phone. We're ready. I understand, but please tell him that this is not a meeting that can be postponed. I see. So, they ain't coming, right? Fucking suits! Keep your anger to yourself, or I'll share mine with you. Robo? Who's there? Show yourself! You'd better not. As you wish, creep. You are under arrest. Come quietly. Do you really believe that's what's gonna happen? Take care of him, boys. I'll meet you on the roof. What's up, metal freak? Forget where you left your car? You better go, Miss Ortiz. It seems there will be trouble. Is that, Is that you? you? Come, Come to, to us. us. Yeah, Dad, Dad we're, we're waiting, waiting for you! For you. It's, it's not, not your, your dad, dad kid. kid. It's, it's not, not even a police, police officer. officer. I don't, I don't know, know what, what it is anymore. anymore. Please leave a message after the tone. 
The remains of my husband, a police officer killed in the line of duty, were used to create some kind of a metal monster. I need to bury it to move forward. Okay. It thinks itself as you. A world class husband. A father. A cop. Did you hear? It's true. You're not one of us anymore. You're not human. And you're not a real cop. You're just the rotting remains of Alex Murphy. You're something that should never have been. Something that should not exist. We have to fix you. We have to erase you. And we, and we will. will. Just, Just come, come to us. Come, come to the, the rooftop. rooftop. We're waiting. It's not one of us. It doesn't even have a flash. It's the crap that is stuck to our shoes. A cuckoo egg planted by OCP. We need to clear our station of this shit. We must smash that thing. Fire at will. You're not one of us. You, you feel that too, don't you? Burn him out! Back. There's coffee in the kitchen. Do you like it? The mug. Dad, Dad can you can fix, you the, fix camera? the camera? I think, I think something's, something's broken. broken. Dad wouldn't miss it, would he? Pick me up at the station. I'll grab my gear. Do you really have to go? You look so sexy in that uniform. Why won't you stay a little longer? Welcome, Welcome Chopper. Chopper. Let's, Let's take, take a stroll to your old home. Do you, Do you think, think you can just go back? Go on with your life like nothing happened. This, this is a one-family one house, house built by ZM Industries. Industries. It's for sale because the hand that belonged was shot in the head. Your family has forgotten you. Why do you want to remember them? You attach, you attach yourself, yourself to something that is the weakest in you. To the part that's still human. Have, Have you thought, thought it over? Why, Why not make me an offer? offer? Why carry this burden? What, what is, is your, your sacrifice, sacrifice worth? worth? Holding on to them makes you weak. Destroy them. Destroy them before they destroy you. Alex Murphy, the one and the only. I'm here because you have something that belongs to me. You have my badge. Lewis gave it to me. Lewis is hurt because of you. Because you keep insisting that you're something that you're not. You think that you are a fusion of me in this metal armor, but you're not me, not even a part of me. I'm dead and I want to finally rest. 
but you won't let me. Your delusions keep tormenting me and my family. You need to let us go. I want my badge back. I have it, so I remember. Remember what? The lie? Lewis knows us. She would not lie. Give it to me. It's mine. But, Lewis, I want it back. This is my badge. Then I'll have to take it back myself. You are, you are strong, strong enough, enough to take, take him. him. Don't, Don't forget, forget you have, have a partner, partner who's counting on you. Take, take this, this gift. gift. Don't, Don't forget, forget who you are. are. Alex, Alex Murphy. Murphy. Get up, Robo. Get up, for God's sake. That's it, Robo. Keep going. Where's the chopper? The cops will be here any- Wendell Antonowski. Haven't you had enough yet? You are under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Relax. <laughs> I I'm not your enemy. If I were, you would have already- <laughs> You have the right to an attorney. I... I wanted to help you. Release you from the burden of your past life, of your memories. But you, you don't want to lose them, right? Now I get it. Anything you say may be used against you. I can give you back those memories. All of them. We should help each other. We have the same boss! Police! God damn it, you again? People need to see this. Cuff him. He is a cop killer. Hands behind your back! Can you hand me my lighter? It's a family heirloom. I wouldn't want to lose it. You mean this trinket? It'll be safer in the prison depository. You'll pick it up yourself in... I don't know. 150 years? Plenty of time for rehabilitation. Top story. Wendell Antonowski, the infamous new guy in town, has been apprehended today. Despite his glitches, Robocop was able to capture Antonowski. The malfunction has again been caught on camera by our own Samantha Ortiz. Robocop's efforts have prompted a public debate regarding its status as a machine. Here's a statement from John Mills, a candidate for the mayor's office in the upcoming mayoral election. Today, Robocop has done more for this city than the current administration has done in its entire term. That's why I feel that it's time to give something back. If elected, I will be advocating to grant Robocop the status of a free, living human being. That's right. Vote Mills, vote Robocop. Staying on the topic of OCP, the CEO of Omni Consumer Products suffered a heart attack earlier today. The self-made entrepreneur has been taken to the Gibson Memorial Hospital for observation. His condition is stable. We wish you a speedy recovery. Wendell's in prison and the old man is on his way out? Could this day be any better? Geez, Steph, don't you have any respect? Here's the man of the hour. Congrats, Robo. You caught that bastard for what he did to Lewis. We are not done yet. Murphy, come talk to me after you're done with your evaluation. I knew he'd get him. I just knew he'd be the one to bust that asshole. Glad we have Murphy on our team. Is that the TV personality I keep seeing on television? Something not many people know about me. I used to be a car mechanic before I landed this job. Is that supposed to put us at ease, Morgan?
Congratulations on catching Wendell. You seem to constantly be front page news. Not only that, your situation has become a topic of public debate. I imagine that could take a toll on anyone. How are you dealing with other people trying to determine your identity for you? Someone is fighting for my rights. That's probably the healthiest way of looking at it. But the status of a human would make you an autonomous being. It opens many doors. Being given human rights would let you fully take control of your life. Is that something that you'd actually want? I do not need other people's approval to determine who I am. No. But no man is an island. The idea of granting you human rights is a very important issue. But no more important than the main reason for today's session. Many people might have seen some of your glitching on TV, but I have the whole report on the heavy glitches that you suffered before capturing Wendell. The only other time you've experienced anything similar was during the slaughterhouse incident. That's when your partner was wounded. Now, you were fighting the person responsible for it. Do you think the severity of those glitches is caused by the intense feelings that you have towards either of them? My partner is important. I needed to do right by her. I know how close she is to you. Let's dig a little deeper. Your typical glitches are triggered by sensory stimulation. Similar to how most people experience memories when exposed to particular sights, sounds, or smells. But this wasn't the case with the other glitches that you experienced recently? No, they triggered randomly. That's what I suspected. And now tell me, what did they seem like to you when you experienced them? Corrupted visions of my past. I think we're onto something. Your usual glitches were making you recall memories. No more harmful than remembering your wedding day when hearing Mendelssohn's march. We have to differentiate them from those severe malfunctions that you experienced in the slaughterhouse and at the mall. Those latter ones are the real problem, and we need to get to the bottom of it. But I think I've gathered quite a lot of valuable data, and at our next session, I'll present my conclusions. Hey, Robo, could you stop by the cells on your way to read? Someone there wants to speak to you. I don't know. If it happens, I'm definitely getting sacked. I've got a degree in robotics. Hey. I'd recognize those footsteps anywhere. What did you do this time? Uh, why does it have to be that I did something? Maybe one of your guys just got a little overeager. Did they? No. But none of this matters. I'm here mainly to congratulate us. We did it. We got the guy. We? We sure did, partner. Any new leads? Are you looking for trouble? This is the they lived happily ever after part of the story. Wendell was conducting suspicious activity for someone at OCP. I want to know who. Shit. I thought you were just looking to avenge your partner. I forgot that you're a dutiful officer. All right. I'll keep my ear to the ground and see what the streets are saying. Good. Talk to you later, partner. The old man had a heart attack. Seriously? Hey, I think you locked me out again. Can't. I can't hear Murphy, you. Murphy, in busy my working. office. Yeah, I get it. Catching Antonowski put a smile on a lot of people's faces, but we still have one unresolved issue. Catching his accomplice at OCP. Exactly. 
and when everyone realizes that OCP's been sabotaging us the whole time, mentions of a strike will come up again. We don't want that. So who do you think it is? Becker is an obvious choice. I just don't know if that's not too obvious. Do you suspect that Becker is on Windows payroll? All signs point to him. They do, don't they? And that leads me to another thing. Becker wanted to meet you. You're supposed to show up at some old factory. And he wanted you to come alone. A rather unusual request. That's why I'll get Officer Washington to listen in. By the way, how do you feel about it? Can you trust him? I cannot read him. Maybe having him listen in on your meeting with Becker will give us some definite answers to what his priorities are. I'm skeptical of anyone that OCP tries to push on us. First Becker, then Washington, and let's not forget about Dr. Blanche. Speaking of which, Dr. Blanche, is she... is she being helpful? Are you getting anything out of those sessions? This process takes time. Like most things that are worthwhile. I will meet Becker, but there is a place I will visit first. Sure thing. In the meantime, I'll brief your overseer. Officer Washington! Yes, sir. You've got a new assignment. I'm ready and willing. Did you watch the game yesterday? I don't know what's wrong with our team. What losers. I wanted to throw the TV out the window, but it was too heavy. I pulled the hamstring. Wait, why are you asking me about my liver and kidneys? They shot me in the leg. We can She's waiting for you, Murphy. Accommodation and additional benefits if you decide to sell. Come on, give me the skinny. I want to know everything. Ah, oh, Murphy, we started the party a little early. I hope you don't mind. Sorry, partner. It's my fault. I just got to hear what's happening at the precinct. In usual fashion, OCP's doing everything in its power to keep the police down. Come on, this is time to celebrate. Lewis is feeling better, Wendell's in jail. Let's party. If you don't think a strike is brewing, you know what? Let me get this grouch out of here so that you two can talk. Okay, okay, I'm going. Feel better, Lewis. You look well. I gotta admit, I sleep better knowing that you got that bastard. But what about you? How have you been lately? Did you get any more of those visions? I still see things. You know, ever since Antonowski showed up, they seem to be happening more often, and with greater intensity. I don't think I've ever seen you in such a state. I just know how it affects me, so I can't imagine how it affects you. The fact that he's the brother of one of those guys who shot you. We should not let the past haunt us. Easier said than done. His presence reminds me of the day that I... that I left you. I often think that maybe if we didn't split up that day, things would have gone down differently. Neither of us could have predicted the consequence of our actions. That doesn't make me feel any less guilty. What I don't get is if Wendell is actually the brother of one of your murderers, then why did he come out now? After all this time, 
And why didn't he kill you when he got a chance? That is what I intend to find out. Right. Is it true that he's working with someone from OCP? That is what he claims. Damn, Becker. We should just lock him up already. We do not have proof. Not yet. I don't know if you heard, but the old man ended up in this hospital after his heart attack. I'm not even sure if he's in a state to talk, but it probably wouldn't hurt to check if he knows anything, right? Anyway, I think I need a little rest after all this excitement. Thank you for visiting me. We'll be back to working together in no time. I look forward to it. private clinic in 20 minutes. Good. I don't think I can last a minute longer in this stench. Hey, where do you think you're going? To talk to the old man. You're the only one who actually showed up to pay him a visit. You know he talks about you a lot. Does he? Yeah, about you being granted human rights. He's rooting for you. So maybe it's not such a bad idea. You can go in. to improve people's lives. I was good. Michael, is that you? Your halo shines so bright. Someone in OCP was supporting Wendell's operations. I want to know who. Robocop? Oh, God. I'm getting close to my final days. I just can't stand this uncertainty. But you came back from the other side. Tell me, how was it? Was it unbearable? Fragments of my past life flashed before my eyes, and they keep flashing. Perhaps I am still dead. Can't be, regardless of what the papers say. I believe that death isn't the end. You are walking proof of that. Unfortunately, I have not completed all I set out to do. All saboteurs inside OCP won't let me. Are you referring to Max Becker? That weasel seeks not only to destroy you, but also my company. Be wary of him. I know you would never let anyone jeopardize the good name of OCP. <sighs> Before you go, could you be so kind and give me some painkillers? I am not qualified to administer medication. Please. Anyone help me? God! I need my painkillers. How much longer do I have to stand this? Why the long face, Robo? They'll pump him full of OCP's cocktails. He'll be back to sign the deal. like this. I am the mayor of this city. Robocop, you have to intervene.
intentions become clear? Maybe he wants to thank you for catching Wendell. I only seek answers. You came. So you can follow a command. Surprising. Surrender, or there will be trouble. Defiant as usual. Your creator screwed up the job by not installing an off switch. Well, it doesn't pay to fix their mistakes. It's cheaper just to replace you. So, Robocop. Meet the future of law enforcement. Power like yours, but at the push of a button. That is why it is not only more effective than you, but infinitely more obedient. That's just a fragment of the speech I had prepared. But hell, this product speaks for itself. Robocop, what's the status? This is no appreciation party. Gunshots? What's going on? Becker has introduced me to you. QEDs? They're already functional? Mr. Becker bragged about them during my onboarding. I'll try to find something that can help. Just give me a sec. in front of the OCP board. I'm looking at the footage now. Let us see if they ever got around to fixing it. Warm-up is over. Get ready for the real strike. I knew the guy that made you. Bob Morton, right? An arrogant brown nose. I used to be happy that he was dead. One less asshole on my way to the chairman's seat, you know? But now, I wish you project. The old man didn't like it much and wanted to shut it down. He was certain that your brain was what was making you superior to them, so Becker continued to work on the project in secret. He took a big gamble. 
Hey, who are you talking to? Is that Oedipus guy helping you? Well, once I'm done with you, his career is over. You are durable, I'll give you that. You could become a strong part of my urban enforcement. knows you are helping me. He gave me access to the OCP data himself. Under these circumstances, I feel obliged to use them any way I see fit. Until now, I didn't want to damage you too much, but no more. I'm 
Eliminating aggression. just happened Becker oh just stop right there great performance Robocop and mr. Becker it was an excellent presentation you promised to show me a reliable remedy for this crime wave and you really did yes I've been working on UEDs for the past five I years. meant Robocop He's proved once again that he's still the top player. Excuse me? It just barged in here and started accusing me of conspiracy without a shred of proof. It is not stable. I have Wendell's confession. Oh, do you mean the guy that's been harvesting human organs? <laughs> Very reliable source. You keep forgetting that your organic components are the bane of my entire existence. They complicate things. I need a simple tool. A tool that I can control. And until this remote is in my hands, I have that... Oh! Well, it's uh, time for me to go. Thank you, Mr. Becker, for your presentation. I'll be watching the progress of your project. But until then, keep up the excellent work, Robocop. And you better keep an eye on that remote. That should do it. What's going on over there? Becker's here, and the cops are not happy. Hey, Becker's here! Let me get my hands on him. It's a new age, and you have to accept it. My robots are here to stay. Detroit will become the first city policed entirely by my machines. No brains, no glitching. 
Total control. So that's it? You just gonna replace us? You've already been replaced, honey. Can't you see it? What are you talking about? Murphy's one of us. You're a little confused. That's Robocop you're talking about. Murphy's the guy who's legally dead. That's it. We are going on strike. We are cops. Cops do not go on strike. That's the spirit, old timer. I have important people to meet, multi-million dollar contracts to sign. You know, the usual. Well, that sucks. We can't just sit here and do nothing. You can do something. Your cruiser needs cleaning after your last shift. If you have a hard time finding something to do, come to me. That goes for the rest of you, too. Murphy, briefing room, now. First of all, I don't want to hear a word about those damn robots. We have a job to do. Now that the milk is spilled, we are looking for a mole in OCP that's been protecting Antonowski. As hard as it is to believe, Becker is not that guy. Yeah, but he's still a prick. Sure is, but there's still a mole that we need to find. It's gotta be the rookie. I'm sitting right here. So? We start by asking the source. What are you suggesting? I pay Wendell a visit in jail. Good thinking. You can try to squeeze a confession out of him. If I get my hands on him, I will squeeze more than just a confession. Hey, Murphy. That news lady's in the lobby waiting to talk to you. Hey, sh oh, she is doing real good. She had that fire in her eyes. You know what I'm talking about. Still keep that metal fuck running. What a waste of electricity. I mean, Robo, he the did prisoner's catch waiting you. in the visiting room. Oh, gonna have to strip search you. Belt, keys, loose change, huh? <laughs> I'm kidding. Just keep walking. I don't think that was funny. Good to meet you, Robocop. The visiting room is at the end of the corridor. Good to see you in my prison, Robo. Did the inmates at the entrance welcome you properly? I felt at home, almost. I'm glad you're here. I want to ask you about the man you're here to see. The only thing I know is that he's no ordinary prisoner. OCP are keeping his record secret. So who is he? Another problem off my list but not off mine. He's a demanding individual. There used to be peace in my prison, but now they're rabid dogs. He turned all the gangs against each other. So either OCP doesn't know who they're dealing with, or there's something fishy going on. I suspect OCP knows more than they are telling. I'm here to verify that. Ah, uh, good. Come see me after your interview. I have a humble gift for you and your police friends for keeping my business alive.
RCP funds you, but Becker is not your inside man. Who is? You're not going to ask me how I'm settling in. Answer me. Places like this do me good. I even quit smoking, you know. The trick is to keep your hands busy. Fraternization with criminals is not embedded into my programming. No, you're selling yourself short. Alex Murphy. You didn't expect to hear that name from me, did you? I used to think that erasing the memories of your past life would help you the way it helped me. Oh, but I was wrong. And I want to make it up to you by giving you that life back. I am here to enforce the law, not to play your games. But you wouldn't mind a, a game of baseball with your son again. The new OCP project is what will make this possible for you. Is that why you needed all those dead bodies? I could tell you more if you promise not to stick your nose in. I want details of the project and the names of those involved. Our time is up. But I wouldn't want to leave you empty handed. So let me at least give you this. The project's called Afterlife. I'll tread carefully. It's the last chance for you and your family to be together again. We have to take the prisoner back to his cell. Looks like a full-blown riot is going down. Whatever is going on, this slime is involved. Could be, but now we have to focus on the other prisoners. They're armed and storming the warden's office. We need your help. Robo? I will turn them to the path of reform. Don't 
come empty handed. <laughs> Robocop, I owe you. We have to stop these creeps from taking over the prison. You bet we do. Wendell has to be behind this. I need to find him. I knew he was up to something. His cell is in Block B. And Robocop, give him my regards. I will give him much more than that. Call me on the radio if you need me. Sir. Block A is clean. Good. Let's keep it that way. I saw them. They must be the ones who released the prisoners. The riots are a smokestack for Wendell. I'm not an They're enemy! For his cell. I am on my way there now. Get him, boys! Wendell's cell is empty. Intruders beat me to it. Robo, I'm just getting a signal that the hostiles were spotted moving towards the property store. Wendell included. I will meet them there. God, you're here. Oh, I don't know how to thank you. Oh, 
Martha needs me, you know? Oh, it's such a great car. But they'd probably scrap it if I died here. You saved us both. Thank you. What is the situation here? The guy's got a ticket for the mercy seat in a month, but he was shot, and it looks like justice will get him sooner. <laughs> That's no reason to leave me here to die! I can't take him with me, and I'm not gonna stay here. I cannot assist you. There are people who need my help more. I'll be waiting for you in hell, you heartless assholes! Nazwa! Love to engage! Nice too! Teammate! CIA! <laughs>
believe that? Last week I finished organizing the stuff down here with a brand new system. And today, those fuckers showed up and messed everything up. Where did they go? To the parking lot. You have to bust them. I'll be cleaning this shit up until retirement. The scum's over there, hiding behind his bodyguards. We need to smoke them out. Can't you get it through that thick skull of yours? You're supposed to stay away from my business if you want to get your past life back. How about we save part of that life 
right now. I sent some guns to the hospital to rectify my mistake and finish the job with your friend Lewis. But it was before we talked. I would have called off the hit, but I had to take care of you and your fellow guards. So, I guess it's over to you. And you better hurry! Casualties at Gibson Memorial Hospital. I need assistance. Possible hostiles in the vicinity. I'm all right, Murphy. I'm all right. Oh, thank God you're safe. We've missed you, officer. How are you feeling? A little banged up. But I've certainly been worse. That Wendell guy needs to pay for what he did. And he will. But when? How many more innocent people have to get shot before that happens? OCP doesn't have our back. We know that Wendell's working for him. You know what we should do? Don't even say it! We should go on strike. Yeah! Sergeant, how can we go out on the streets knowing that the people who hire us are working against us? Don't forget about the robots. We will discuss this further, but first, Murphy, it's time for your evaluation. I'll be catching up on what's been going on, partner. Oh my god, Lewis is back. Hey, Steph, how's my hair? Looks like an elephant took a dump on an ostrich egg. Robocop, please, have a seat. That's it for me. Where is Dr. Blanche? I am supposed to undergo an evaluation. Oh, right. She called. Said that she wouldn't be able to make it today. Actually, she wanted you to call her. She seemed distressed. Antonowski escapes from a high-security prison. Now the cops are thinking about going on strike. What happens if some dangerous criminal breaks out from the cells downstairs? Pray that Robocop is around. Dr. Blanche. Thank you for returning my call. I, I don't know what to do, who to trust. What seems to be the problem? My research that I was conducting on you, it's gone. All the data that I collected is missing from the precinct. If someone felt comfortable stealing my computer, they may come after me once they realize that most of my records are on paper. OCP has been adamant about me keeping all the records on my computer, but I don't trust technology and I don't trust OCP. 
I keep most of my records with me in my notebook. I don't know who to turn to, except you. Where are you now? Home. You are not safe there. Meet me at the Star Motel. Yes, I know the place. I'll meet you there. Thank you. Murphy, you're here. Let's start with what you found out at that prison. I will show you somewhere private. I think I've got the place. The new OCP project is what will make this possible for you. But I wouldn't want to leave you empty-handed. So, let me at least give you this. The project's called Afterlife. Afterlife? So someone in OCP is working with Wendell on another big project? If not Becker, then who? Sorry to disappoint you all, you ungrateful fucks. You didn't think I'd find you here, did you? Since I'm already here, entertain me. If I'm no longer your suspect, then who is? I mean, we're all thinking it, so I might as well say it. What if it's the old man? Ha! <laughs> You've got some balls to even mention something like that. Nevertheless, good luck. Even if it's true, he's untouchable. Unlike you, I've got some work to do. Final preparations before the expo. So wish me luck. Good luck. <sighs> Becker's right. We can't just go on accusing people without proof. What else is there? Seems that Wendell found himself another gang to work for him. What do we know about them? Guns for hire. He's paying a lot for their services. They're supposed to be very computer savvy. Real high-tech shit. Dr. Blanche mentioned her computer was hacked. Then I think we found ourselves a new lead. Murphy, I want you to pursue this. I will pay Dr. Blanche a visit. All right, everyone dismissed. Can't wait to go back out there, partner. You're not going anywhere. Murphy, Mayor Cusack wants to talk to you. At He's waiting in Reed's office. Dr. Blanche? Yes. Let us hope I will not be slowed down by another cheering crowd. So, the preparations for the election are in full swing, huh? Fortunately, I am just by the hotel. Good. Keep me... You're back already, Grumpy? You're way too early. The bachelorette party starts at 8. I am here to meet with Olivia Blanche. What room is she in? This is a by-the-hour hotel. People don't usually give names. Dr. Blanche is in her 50s, bright long hair, possibly tied into a ponytail. I gotcha. It's that classy lady. She's staying in room 405. Thank you, citizen. So, you are the real Robocop? Listen. If your mature lady won't be able to satisfy you, I'm sure I'll find someone who can 
It's you. Thank you for coming over. Do you really think I'm in danger? Not as long as I am here. Tell me what happened again. Someone stole my work computer from the precinct. But the only thing of value are my research notes. Your evaluation especially. Does anyone else know about your research? OCP requested confidentiality, so they're the only ones who know about it. You don't think the old man has anything to do with it, do you? Did you notice anyone suspicious at the crime scene? No. But after a recent hacking attempt, Engineer Morgan fitted my work computer with a tracking device. You could download its last coordinates from my private computer. It's right there on the desk. Maybe this will help you find the culprit. I will find them, and they will pay. Actually, even if those thieves were after my research, they'd be disappointed. I keep most of my notes on paper, including my conclusion. I know the whole process wasn't easy for either of us, but I'm sure you felt there was progress. How do you feel about doing the final session now? I promised to adhere to our working relationship. Thank you. I really appreciate it. You agreed to a non-compulsory evaluation. Does that mean you felt our sessions are helpful? Yes. A lot has changed since we started. Do you remember how you perceived yourself back then? I was struggling to comprehend my own existence. That is correct. But since then, did you have a change of heart? How do you consider yourself now? I like to think of myself as a person. I'm glad to know you can finally see this. Through our time together, I've learned a lot about you. And one thing I know for sure is that you're not some kind of soulless OCP robot. Why do you think so? Could a machine create a real bond of friendship such as you and Officer Lewis have? Do you think a machine's honesty would make an experienced psychologist open up about her past? Or oppose orders of his superiors to fight for a good cause? Would an actual person glitch? We should make a clear distinction. These so-called glitches are your memories. It seems to me that they manifest themselves in unusual ways because they are trying to get through a mechanical barrier. But as memories and the past make up everyone's personality, those memories make you who you are as well. This is what makes you different from a machine. You should not fear them, but embrace them. But there is also the other kind. And that worries me. But the malfunctions you're referring to seem to be strictly technological. I'm afraid someone is using your mechanical side to mess with your psyche. They would be more successful if it wasn't for your human side. And no wonder. It's probably your strong will that allowed you to bear the extraordinary burdens. And it's also what's been protecting you from totally malfunctioning. I don't know a single person who could endure that. So if this evaluation was to determine whether you're human or not, my answer is you're not just a human, but an exceptional one. Alex Murphy. Don't you ever forget that, unless you want to have me on your case again. I will try. Thank you, Doctor. Use my computer to download the coordinates of the tracking device. It's right there on the desk. I have the coordinates. Hello, Dr. Blanche. I got a special delivery for you. But I haven't ordered anything. I only need your signature. Can you please open the door?
we need to move. Lewis, there was an attempt on Dr. Blanche's life. Is she okay? Yes, but she will need an escort. Roger that. I'm on my way. Oh! I've lost head! not stop. It's a dead end. We need to look for another way. I will make a way. I don't know how you're thinking of making a way, but you better hurry. Make our way. Follow me. I'm finally starting to understand the shooting, the blood, seeing it firsthand. It puts everything into perspective. What I think I'm trying to say is... Thank you. My duty, madam. So what now, Murphy? I will follow the signal to track the doctor's computer. You will keep her safe. Safe from what exactly? Who were those guys? Mercenaries on Wendell's payroll. The same ones that paid me a visit at the hospital? Wendell should be grateful. You keep reducing his overhead. I am expecting a huge payoff. I hear that. Officer Washington is requesting backup on St. John's Street, outside the fishmongers. Multiple armed suspects sighted.
Okay, Murphy. So where are you headed now? I am following the signal from the doctor's computer. That's handy. You're gonna keep me posted if you find anything, won't you? Affirmative. Murphy, out. I hate when you do that. Lose out. Need some rubble? No, but it might be covering something that I am looking for. It will be like searching for a needle in a haystack unless you have some kind of x-ray vision. Any joy? I need to see what is underneath. Then you'll have to wait. There'll be a truck to move it in an hour or two. It's not like you can move the whole thing anyway. You're not a finicking train, are you? <laughs> I am much more than that. You're like a freaking bulldozer. Is that what you were looking for? A manhole cover? I need to get underground. Well, not through there, you ain't. If the sewers are what you're after, then you should use the entrance behind the mark. Just under the overpass. Thank you, citizen. Lewis, tracker coordinates lead me to the sewers. I am entering now. I can't hear you very well. It must be bad signal. I've taken Dr. Blanche to the safe house. Lewis, you are breaking up. Watch your step. This might get dangerous. Make sure to contact me if you back up. Stay safe.
Lewis, I found the computer. What did they need it for? Retrieving and processing data for my evaluations. Where was the data going? OCP's mainframe computer. To access it, you need staff credentials, and they have been using Wendell's. You're saying that OCP has Wendell on their payroll? The old man is the one who signed his contract. That son of a bitch! I knew he was behind all this. Can you send us over that data? I am uploading it as we speak. I'll make sure Reed sees it ASAP, so we can get you a warrant for the OCP headquarters. I am heading to OCP headquarters now. the files that you sent us and it turns out that the data from your evaluations have been used to prepare an afterlife presentation and get this it's taking place right now to put a cherry on top the old man is in attendance just find where the afterlife presentation is taking place and you'll catch the old I man not today bring your kid to work today. that is how i prefer to catch criminals just let me go you said yourself that you didn't have Welcome time to omni me. consumer products i know who how you may are, i help you lady. you broke into the security room you're up to something. A meeting regarding Robo -Cop. afterlife Can you is help taking me with place intruder? right now. I want to know where. Let me check. Yes, that would be the executive conference room on the top floor. The elevators are behind me. But I'm looking at the guest list and I'm not seeing your name. I will be the highlight. But you don't have the proper clearance. You won't be able to access the elevators, sir! Let me get that door for sir. you. Sir! I saw that whole scene. The way they treated you. Not on my watch. Going up? Beautiful, isn't it? This view gives me hope. Shows what Detroit is capable of when not hindered by the city's worst. You probably know that better than anyone else. You deal with filth more than any of us. These miserable people, crammed into those tiny apartments like cockroaches. I swear I need a shower whenever I go canvassing in old Detroit. But not for much longer. I'm heading to a meeting about the Delta City relocations, so that we finally get the poor, criminal elements out of our great city. Exciting, isn't it? You and me together. We'll clean the city right up. This is a friendly reminder. A gunshot wound no longer entitles you to a day off. Unless there is no one here. Required. What? Thank you. Look around. See if we're missing something. Do not be amazed when a man grows rich, for when he dies, he takes nothing with him. Until now. Afterlife, OCP's answer to death itself. As a frontrunner in human-machine hybrids, OCP is focused on proving that death is no longer the end. 
With a number of successful prototypes, our team continues to work tirelessly to ensure Afterlife is more stable than any of our previous cybernetic achievements. We've come a long way since OCP's first cyborg. This is how I see myself. To now. Hi, I'm Eve, and I've died, but that's not stopping me. With the newest development in cyborg research, OCP was able to give me another chance. And now I'm back to enjoying my life. Or should I say, afterlife. Because at OCP, the goal is no longer to live, but to thrive after death. And since our friends in the government are fighting for human rights for all people that were once pronounced dead, my life will return to what it was in no time. Under my legislation, Robocop and all future cyborgs will be granted human rights. They'll be able to live, vote, and run their businesses just like the rest of us. Vote Mills, vote Robocop. Afterlife. Eternity. Today. Oh, sorry, I didn't know someone was here. Eve? It's actually Meg. Are you like me? So you've seen the ad, huh? Sorry, I'm not a robot. Just a commercial actress. I've been a face for a lot of stinkers, but good luck selling Afterlife. Technology that won't be available to us for the next hundred years or so, I've heard. Where is everyone? From what I understand, the old man canceled the meeting last minute. I don't know why no one tells me anything around here. So he is behind all of it? Who else would authorize funding of such a pretentious project? Where is the old man? Probably in his office, at the end of the hall. But I don't think barging in unannounced is such a good idea. I disagree. Oh, can someone take this robot away from me? Why was he smiling when I signed it? He never smiled. Do you, you think have they to stop coming to the down? office? You no longer work here. Put your hands up. You are under arrest. That's no way to talk to an acting CEO. You didn't come here to congratulate me? So, you haven't heard. It's been on every channel for the past hour. Watch some TV once in a while. Life's passing you by. As the former CEO of Omni Consumer Products passed away earlier this morning, we at Channel 9 are deeply saddened by this horrific tragedy. Our condolences go out to the OCP family in these dark times. In other news, why do balloons make that popping sound? About time the old man kicked the bucket. A Japanese company is already eyeing to buy us out. The way he was managing the company lately, he'd basically run it to the ground, especially with his personal projects. Afterlife. Oh, you heard about that too. How desperate. Just die gracefully, you old fuck. But don't you worry about it. As an acting CEO, I'm putting a stop to all of OCP's unnecessary expenses. And that includes all of the old man's pet projects. So say bye-bye to Afterlife, and Delta City for that matter. Wendell is still out there. The market will take care of him. With no one to finance his stunts, he'd need an army willing to mindlessly fight for him, and for free. So there's nothing for you to worry about anymore. Well, maybe about collecting unemployment, since I'm firing the entire police force and replacing them all with my robots. Those robots are unreliable. Oh, that's adorable. Especially coming from you. But you'll get to see the improvements we've made firsthand since I need you to come to the Arms Expo. Just don't be late. Now, you leave. Bitches, come!
It's time to celebrate. Let's throw the old man a hell of a wake. Oh, Robo! That expo thing is a black tie event. Then again, I guess that doesn't concern you. Because of the tragedy that has struck our company, you will be informed by your superiors about the recommended ways to experience mourning. The meeting is not included as work time. Thank you. The old man is dead. Yeah, I just heard. So what do we do about afterlife? Becker is shutting it down. Not the only thing he's shutting down. I just got a call from the precinct. Everyone's been fired. So what now? What about Wendell? We wait for his move. He'll be desperate. I bet he'll try to get as many supplies as he can before his money runs out. But where will he go to do that? The Detroit Arms Expo. Shit, that's right around the corner. I could go there. No. Stay with Dr. Blanche. Becker wants me to attend the Expo. This way, I can keep an eye on unwanted guests. I hear you. I can't believe he's gone. He was so young. Such a tragedy. stage and stand on the podium. There's an old friend already. We have to be on the lookout for Antonov. Do you ever just stop? We won. So smile. Okay, don't smile. Creeping me out. It's showtime. Welcome everyone to the Detroit Arms Expo where we will show you the newest, hottest advancements in urban warfare. Thank you. Thank you. Now, please, before we proceed, let's take a moment to honor the man who made all of this possible. So join me in a minute of silence. Now, let's start the party. OCP has always been the pioneer pushing the limits of what's been possible in security technology. Those efforts gave us RoboCop and RoboCop 2. That's right. But much like our late CEO, RoboCop is the past. We need to look at the future. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to present OCP's newest achievement, the UEDs, Urban Enforcement Droids. A reliable solution to crime with the push of a button. UEDs will be exclusively protecting the streets of Detroit since the police left the citizens of our city to the mercy of the criminal element by going on a strike. But no need for alarm, UEDs are ready to patrol the city today. Today will be their first major test, the protection of the mayoral election rally. Now, let's open up the floor to the questions. I'm sure you're dying to hear more about my robots, yes? I have a question for RoboCop. In view of the police strike, do you think these new robots are actually capable of protecting the city? The police did not strike. We were fired. The police left because they felt threatened by the UEDs. And rightfully so. My machines are superior in every way. 
A presentation is in order to show that those are not just empty words. I have another question for Robocop. It's about the candidates for mayoral elections. Who cares? It can't even vote in the damn thing. It's just an OCP product. There are a lot of people that value his opinion. Polls show that Robocop's words and actions have influenced ratings for both candidates several times already. So, Robocop, could you give us all a definite answer and put our minds at ease? Is Mills' promise to grant you and all future cyborgs human rights enough to earn your support? Knowing you'd possibly get your freedom back? Freedom to do what exactly? Get back with his family? Start a business? Join a bowling team? Or will you, contrary to your creator's interest, encourage people to vote for Mayor Kuzak, OCP's loudest adversary? I support John Mills. Thank you for such a straight answer. I'm sure there are people who've waited to hear it. Well, there you have it. Now we can get back to why we all gathered here. My robots! It's time to present what these bad boys are capable of, huh? I just need to find... the remote. And where did I put it? Is... is that normal? Huh? I... it's just a prototype. No need to worry. More will come. What the hell are you talking about? What was that? All of you need to leave. What is happening? I lost my remote. That's what's happening. Contain the surface. Did you remember? No, damn it. But there's another way. We can't control them, but we can make them stop. Take me to the Expo Depot. The entrance is through Hall C. I'll open the gate. Just clear the space. The code doesn't work. Luckily, I'm the one who sold them this garbage, so I know what to do. Just destroy the fuse box, and the gate will open. Do it! What is your plan? I give the orders and you follow them. Maybe it'll work that way for once. Okay, since I open the gate, you clear the way to Hall C. I remember differently. Your memory is glitched.
ัวต่อเพื่อนเพื่อนพี่ผมไม่ต้องการที่จะมาในทางของคุณนอกจากนี้มิสเตอร์เบคเกอร์ซึ่งฉันมีอยู่ที่นี่ขอบคุณมากที่ให้ฉันมาให้คุณกับนี่ไอ้สิ่งนี้ฉันต้องการที่จะไปหาผู้สมัครที่เป็นผู้สมัครผมคาดว่าจะเป็นโรบโบคอปแต่คุณรอยด์จะต้องพอสำหรับนี่ไม่เป็นไรขอบคุณที่เลือกโอซีพีตอนนี้ผมจะทำงานจบแล้วฉันจะต้องไปโรบโบคอปตอนที่ผู้สมัครที่ไม่ต้องการคุณไม่ต้องการคุณ Keeping you alive this long was a mistake. Let me erase that mistake. Sorry, I won't be staying to witness this. I need to start packing up the toys. Take care of him.
suppressing hostile activity. Destroying our surrender. Murphy, we have to fix you. We have to erase you. We, we must, must erase, erase you. you. It's actually impressive how stubborn you are. At the same time, oh, it's heartbreaking knowing that you never could have won. Oh, your creators made sure of that. That chip, OCP implanted in your brain. The one that was supposed to help you. It served as my collateral. It made sure that you could never touch me. It's activated with this. Oh, but I'm sure you already put that together. The old man wanted me to use it sparingly, as long exposure would melt your brain. Oh, now that's a visual. But since the old man's gone, I can do whatever I want. We packed everything, sir. Splendid. Duty calls. But I'm leaving you with something to remember me by. Exhilarating. Now it's time to take what's mine. The city of Detroit. Night, you're leaving us again? Don't go. Please. He's waking up. Oh no. What do we do? Murphy, stay calm. He's in so much pain. The chip. Remove it. The evaluation chip? How do we do that? I think I can help. There's a button here that will shut him down. Uh. 
Why is this place so deserted? What's with all the noise? It's Murphy. OCP sabotaged him. That's why Wendell was able to get the upper hand. Why? Robocop's their program. They wanted Robocop's data to use in the Afterlife Project. And no wonder. Robocop is the only successful cyborg that OCP has managed to produce. After they got what they needed, they just wanted him out of the way. Without getting their hands dirty. Those scumbags. What now? We need to get that chip out. It should be under the helmet. I saw someone take it off once. I think I can do it. What about the chip? It's here, but I don't think I can. Let me. I'm not squeamish. <laughs> I've done far worse things for far less. There you go, you little bastard. Is this it? Should I turn him back on? Do it. So, Murphy, how you doing? I am doing well, officer. So many familiar faces. Are we celebrating? Wendell certainly is. He stole a shit ton of heavy-duty equipment from that military expo. What happens when he decides to use it? He already has. You've got some nerve coming in here. With no police on the streets, every gang in the city is on the rampage. Detroit's on fire! She's right! I've got a call that Windows goons hacked the election broadcast... ...to send a message. Citizens of Detroit, I'm sorry to inform you that help is not coming. You've been abandoned by the police, by your politicians, and by OCP. They all promised you a better life, and tried to give you hope. And where did that lead you? Into the cesspool. I feel your frustration. I empathize with it, but let's not stop there. Let us do the only thing we can. Let's burn this filthy city to the ground. And from the ashes, let's rebuild something new. Something better. This is bad. I mean, can we do anything about it? I mean, we've all been fired. Never stopped us before. But where do we start? The new mayor is stranded downtown. That's as good a place as any. All right, let's gear up. What do you say, Murphy? I thought you would never ask. Murphy, Lewis, Washington. Head downtown and help the mayor. I'll try to get as many officers to join you as I can. Sure. Why not? Wait, does anyone even know who won the election? Actually, no. But whoever did, they'll have a hell of a time cleaning up this mess. Whoa, that's a lot of incoming calls. So, you've been Murphy's substitute partner? I, I guess so. My god, look at this place. Could things get any worse? I'd better be quiet. The stage is at the riverfront. We are almost there. This Wendell guy thinks he can toss us aside. We'll show him who runs this town. I don't know what you're talking about. I just came to see the inauguration. <laughs> oh, you like to vote? Let's vote! All in favor of kicking this guy's ass! Aye! Aye! Nay? I thought you said all the cops were fired! They were!
free, scumbags! Come get some! Gotta push through. I can't believe the old man tricked me into running this dump. What the hell's going on? Every gang in the city is out for payback. They're not happy that Wendell used them, and his TV appearance didn't help. Lowlifes always find a reason. But why aren't the police intervening? Your OCP friend has replaced cops with droids that are now under Wendell's control. So there you have it, Mr. Mayor. I don't want to hear problems, I want to hear solutions. We must uphold the law, and we must catch Wendell Atanowski. We need to find him first. Luckily, Wendell likes to see himself on the big screen. How does that help? The message you broadcast. I can track its signal, but I'll need a little time. We can buy you some time, rookie. I don't want to interrupt, but some damned robots want to join your party. We can't let them do that, partner. Can we? No. Any advice on how to deal with them? You should publish a guidebook. I am sorry. Murphy, I'll stay here with the mayor and watch out for the rookie while he tracks Wendell. You need to go out there and contain the situation. It's time to protect the innocent, Murphy. I was made to do that. Murphy, all hell broke loose. People are calling about crimes happening all over the city, but three stand out. Those should be your priority. Firstly, Torchhead set fire to one of the apartment buildings. There are people still stuck inside. You need to get them out. Secondly, street vultures are loading up a van full of explosives at their newly annexed chop shop. Seems they want to make a statement. Stop them before they do. Thirdly, the mercenaries Window hired got a hold of an ED-209 from that military expo. They let it loose and it's wreaking havoc in front of the town hall. Hey, Tin Man. I've been picking up the dispatch phone ever since you left. People need help all over town. It's too many to It's Ronnie! From Ronnie's Grocery! Uh, they're trying to burn down my store! I, I can't get out! I wouldn't be so sure that the cops want to help you! Your donut price is a criminal! I tried to pull her out. I really tried, but smoke and... Is your mother inside? Yes, can you? There are police officers on the promenade. Go there. I will save your mother. <laughs> oh God, I can't open the door. Can someone help me? I can't open the damn door. Oh God, <laughs> thank you. Watch out for smoke, citizen. to the
the exit. Your safety is a priority. But I can't! Oh, God! I can't leave without my little kitty! Oh, please, help me find her! Gail, where are you? Is, is that you? I've been waiting. I will get you out. You're back. You came back. Pointlessly exposing yourself to danger. Now go to the promenade. The promenade, sir. Of course. Can can you walk, Mom? Yes. Yes, I can. You're very strong, Daniel. Strong and brave, just like your father. One load off our shoulders. How are you getting on with that tracker, rookie? We're in luck. The signal wasn't cut off. They must have left in a hurry after they made the broadcast. Hey, some thugs are trying to play out a scene from a heist movie in my video store. The problem is, they're using real bullets. Please, send them. Oh, God, I've reached you. I hope not every police officer is fired. I need help. I'm being held hostage by some punks in my laundry room. They're drunk out of their minds. There's no reasoning with them. Send somebody. <laughs> Did you learn anything about the Vulture's plans? They want to blow up the bridge. You need to stop them. Otherwise, where will I get my maple syrup? I am heading there now. What is your status? 
Don't worry about us. We're doing... I'm not playing any more games! What's the situation? Live explosives need deactivating. Do you need bomb squad assistance? What, me? No, I'm not doing that again. I will manage. any fireworks on the horizon. Have you managed? Yes.
Read me! Good! I'm being persecuted because of my art. Bunch of torch heads showed up. They don't like the fact that I only work with the vultures. You think you're so cool you're it's doing my all creative fancy choice who I work I with. Coincidence. I am heading there now. We'll escort the mayor to safety. Did someone call for backup? Good to see you all on watch again. OCP cannot relieve us of our duties. We are not corporate rats. Yeah! That's right! What's the status? I am going after Wendell. Then we'll get the situation here under control. Don't you worry about it. Everyone, get ready. We must defend our city. And you, Murphy, go get that scumbag.
I am underground. Did you find something? The lab. It appears it was set up for the Afterlife Project. So this is where everything went down? Gives me the creeps. But what about Wendell? The place looks abandoned. Be careful. Could be a trap. Any news? Wendell is not here. I am looking for anything that could... I think I know where Wendell went. But there is a catch, am I right? The scientists did not like working with Wendell. What was Wendell's role in the project anyway? He was coordinator, he hired scumbags, and then overworked the team. In OCP, that position is called executive. I found the door code. I am continuing pursuit. We've escorted the mayor to safety, and now we're gonna join Reed and the rest. There won't be time for chit-chat after the- that. Robocop, I just connected you to the mercenaries' frequency. You'll be able to hear their messages from now on. That is, if you're close enough. So, Murphy... This day ain't over yet. Delta City's first celebrity. Roll out the red carpet. Shouldn't Aren't we lucky? This place has everything. Money, buzz, drugs, and... I'm telling you, I'm Wendell's right-hand man, so if he's the king of Della City, then I am the prince. And you know what that makes you? So I was thinking, once Delta City's built, we'll have the first dibs on How many times do I have to say it? So no. like to fight for the front row, but... I'm more happy with the I like to fuck around on the job as any other guy, but I asked that dude to bring me a screwdriver and he came back with a cocktail. What a tool. Alex Murphy. You didn't even give me enough time to miss you. How'd you like my new empire? The most free society there is, where everyone is equal, as long as they have the money. A city full of thieves, drug dealers, and murderers. Is this what you hoped for? The old man's dead. There's no one stopping me from ending you. There is also no one left to finance you. Becker shut down Afterlife. Is that true? I think we can get back to that at a later time. Now, where's my lighter? Oh, there it is. After the incident at the mall, I had a duplicate made. That's neither here nor there. Goodbye, Robocop. Huh? Smoking kills. So, you finally took care of that, huh? We'll just have to do this the old-fashioned way. Gentlemen, I'll leave you to your work. Target acquired.
this over with. Finish that persistent bastard! It won't take long. In the meantime, make the transfer. There won't be a second reminder. construction site. I repeat, Robocop has entered the site. That wasn't part of the plan. Minor drawback. Cobra assault cannon operatives are getting into position. There's no way past that force. Cobra cannon? Now we're talking. Yes, sir. The best money can buy. are secure. What are you going to do about this situation? We're sending our prime unit. Blitz troops should get rid of them once and for all. I've heard that before. Make sure it turns out to be true. Nothing will bring back your old life except me. I'm now the only person who has access to afterlife technology. Do you really want to throw this chest away?
Is that so? Everyone stand down. What are you doing? Why did you stop? That is not what I pay you for! Turns out you don't pay us at all. What? The money transfer didn't go through. We will settle this. Have your machines fight your battles for you. We don't work for free. No hard feelings, Robocop. Just business. I have bigger fish to fry. You ungrateful fucks! You closed the door on the most ambitious project in this goddamn city! Surrender, or there will be trouble. I still have an army that will fight no matter what. So, Robocop, prepare to meet your demise! Now there is trouble. This isn't over! Stay away! Stay the hell away! Dead or alive, you are coming with me. You will regret throwing this opportunity away! Useless fucking machines! Can't you see? OCP is lying to you! I was the only one who was frank with you from the start! You can't win this. Not while OCP still stands. There is nowhere else to go, Wendell Antonowski. That's not even my real name. OCP gave me that identity. They knew evoking your past affects you. Well, they wanted you emotional to better manipulate you. You keep sacrificing yourself, and that's admirable. But at some point, you have to ask yourself, for what? For the city that wants to witness your downfall? Or for the company that keeps sabotaging you? Join me. Together we can hold OCP accountable. Another empty promise. You hunt criminals down. Oh, let's make a stand against the biggest criminal of them all. It's time for you to stop obeying OCP and start putting yourself first. Locking you up is putting myself first. Oh, that would be a mistake. I am only human. Then why don't you die like one? Is it done? Is Wendell Antonowski... Dead. What about the city? Everyone pulled through. We've got it under control, I think. We just got here moments before you. People are exhausted and trying to catch a little sleep. But I'm sure they would prefer catching up with you. I will keep that in mind. And Murphy. Good job. So it's true. He's dead? I am sorry that it did not happen in front of cameras. You and me both. But tell me this. You killed the guy who started this all, exposed UEDs for what they are, and made sure they won't replace cops. 
You contained the riots and at least postponed the creation of Delta City. What is your question? After doing all that, why is no one celebrating? That is not why we do this. What a thankless job. Actually, maybe that's a story worth pursuing. Would Channel 9 be interested? They love a sappy story over there. Maybe I'll even get some award for it. Then at least I'll be celebrating. Anyway, goodbye, OCP man. Uh, seriously, man, I'm done for. You caught me sleeping at the desk. It's like I'm trying to convince you that I'm not cut out to be an officer. We are all tired. I talked to Reed and he said that someone from OCP already contacted him. Since the UEDs turned out to be a bust, they'll be reinstating everyone. Everyone that meets the criteria, of course. Since Becca no longer needs me, I think that's the end of my career. There are other professions worth pursuing. <laughs> yeah, like what? Have you ever considered a corporate career? Ouch. I really believed I had what it takes to be a policeman. All I expected was a tiny bit of faith. Anyway, I'll pack my stuff. See you around, officer. So, Antonowski finally got what he deserved. Damn right. I'm so tired I can't move a muscle. Oh, that's a shame. Because the guy from the Holy Cow joint came by earlier. It is safe out there again. Oh, thank you. But I felt pretty safe ever since you left me with your partner, Officer Lewis. Feisty little thing, isn't she? She makes me feel safe, too. Usually I'm a little anxious about leaving my patients. But these past couple of days, I've gotten to meet some of the people in your world. Despite your circumstances, you've made a good life for yourself, Alex Murphy. I'm confident in saying that I'm leaving you in good hands. Thank you, Doctor. You know, I've been selected to join the Committee on Integration of Cybernetic Organisms into Society. I think it's important for people to know what I've learned here with you. I'll pass my conclusions along, and I hope OCP will do right by you. At least this one time. Goodbye, Alex. You don't look so hot. Was your neighborhood affected by the riots? Got Wendell. I'm glad that you're finally acknowledging us as a team. I couldn't have taken Wendell down without you. That guy brought a lot of suffering to this city. The phone calls I got from people begging for help made my stomach turn. It was overwhelming. At first, I didn't know what to do. First time doing something selfless. And last, I'm exhausted. I don't know how you do it. I had to help myself to a little pick-me-up that I found in the property room. You guys confiscate a lot of good stuff. That is not something you should say to me. Then I shall not say anything anymore. My medicine is starting to kick in anyway. Later, Tin Man. Robo, Lewis was looking for you. That you, partner? You're back. So it's done. It is. Did Wendell do one of his kill him speeches after which he always leaves? He did. What a cheese ball. So, are you gonna stand around like that the whole day? Come on, sit down. A lot of things have changed since I wasn't around. For one, I've heard that there's another woman in your life. Another woman? Dr. Blanche, seems that you two spend a lot of time talking together. 
I'm glad that there was someone you could lean on while I was away. You've been under a lot of pressure lately. It felt like every night at the hospital I was seeing your face on the news. People trying to dissect your every word, question who you are, your past, your future. I wanted to say how proud I am that despite having all those people look at you under a microscope, you remain so composed. I know I wouldn't handle it that well. So, how did you do that? I had help. Oh, that little thing? It served as a reminder of who I am, who I have always been. A great police officer? Among other things. I just want you to know that if you ever need to talk... I know, Lewis. Thank you. So, what's next for us, partner? Our morning shift is about to start. I'll get my gear. You've got to see this! Moments ago, what was reported as an unidentified creature has entered the OCB headquarters and is creating havoc. Reports of numerous casualties are coming in. No one seems to know what caused the chaos, and most importantly, who is going to stop it. I guess the shift's starting early. Ready, partner? I was born ready. What the hell? It's like a hurricane came through. Stay alert. everything in its path. What did? A monster. Robo, I'm in the Channel 9 helicopter. I'm seeing a lot of movement on the executive floor. I know exactly where that is. We need to get up there. No, get the injured out of the building. I will handle what is up there. You sure? Positive. consistent descriptions. So unless everyone is getting it wrong, there's an old friend waiting for you upstairs. You can expect... Trouble? That's right. Make sure there is no one left in the building. Will do, partner. to the western corner of the executive floor. It's... it's... something. I... from me Robocop my number one guy there seems to be a misunderstanding
been a long and laborious process, but it has given me the opportunity to observe you closely. <laughs> the old, old man! Uh, that you! I, I didn't know! I, I, I didn't mean to! Only now do I truly understand what others see in you. I realize why they cheer you on. And it is because they can look past your mental exterior and see that somehow you haven't lost your humanity. That puts my mind at ease. You made me realize that I do not have to fear what is about to happen. I can remain human, as you have. Selfless and devoted to something bigger than myself. Uncorruptible. That is what I always strive to be, Goodrock Murphy. I cannot wait to see what the future has in store for us. You sold the city's future. That leaves one question. Scrapyard or prison, creep. Just an old friend. Do you need backup? I repeat, do you need backup? Negative. Keep the evacuation going. Copy that. Not win this.
going somewhere? Another week passed since the OCP's magnificent giant has fallen. OCP's new CEO assured us that the destruction of its headquarters will not stand in the way of finishing Delta City. Japanese corporation Kanemitsu has already shown interest in OCP's most prominent project. We at Media Break welcome them with open arms. Delta City, Yokoso! From the City of Wonders, we're back to Detroit. John Mills goes down in the history of the city as its shortest serving mayor, excluding premature death. He offered his resignation on his very first day of office. According to a reliable source, Mills expressed, and I quote, I did not sign up to run this dump. Are the new elections ahead of us? And has the city recovered after the previous ones? Now it's time to introduce a new segment, You the Detroiters where we share feel-good stories from our local communities. An escaped python terrorizing the local neighborhood has been reunited with its owners. 
But that wasn't the only thing that was returned. X-ray of the reptile's insides has shown the stolen watches together with the remains of the thief himself. Pickles, a local addict, was so intoxicated with Nuke that the drug was absorbed by the python, which explains its bizarre behavior. Isn't that food for thought? Next up, Sunblock 5000 model nearly torn to pieces by an ED-209 after not adhering to the 209's instructions. The dispute over a parking space could have turned deadly if it wasn't for Dr. Olivia Blanche, a seasoned psychologist who managed to keep a cool head during the 209's intervention. Dr. Blanche's new book, Coping with Loss, is said to be of value to both people and machines alike. Soon on Channel 9, the Samantha Ortiz you didn't know. After recanting her unfounded accusations against OCP, our brave reporter ends her fieldwork and becomes Channel 9's newest morning show host. Her first guest? A woman with the world's biggest hands. Welcome back, Samantha. A new world record has been set in Detroit. A man called Funeral Bob attended his thousandth funeral this year. The record-breaking funeral belonged to Max Becker, a former OCP executive. As it turned out, Bob was its only attendee. The OCP delegation did not arrive due to a rescheduled business meeting. We hope the meeting went well. And now from hero to zero. A corporate employee saved the life of a policeman in the Holy Cow restaurant, but he did not do it for free. While performing the abdominal thrusts, Ulysses Washington stole the officer's badge. Caught red-handed, Washington claimed that the badge once belonged to him. Committing crimes while aspiring to be a cop, we've heard it all. One question still remains unanswered. What happens to Robocop's human status? We've been informed that due to Mayor Mills's resignation, the matter will not be pursued by his office. Robocop's efforts have prompted a public conversation. I hope OCP doesn't take him off the street. Who will protect us then? Ah! It's Robocop! Robo! I love you! speaker. Pure pens of money. Ah. To many more years on the force, Robocop. It's been a busy time for Detroit, but the cloud that lowers over the city is lifting as police end their strike. We're ready to serve, said Officer Ann Lewis, who returned to duty despite her recent injury. What heroism. Detroit can sleep soundly tonight. The question is, for how long? That's all for today. This was Casey Wong. Until next time.